Live day trading penny stocks, day trading live on small accounts, small amounts, day trading live stream every single day from 9 a.m. till noon, day trading live low flow small cap stocks straight from the watch list, the hot stocks of the day. Good morning, everybody. It's good to be here. Day trading live stream, day trading low flow small cap stocks straight from the watch list, the hot stocks of the day. We're day in, day out. We're here every single day. If you guys were here, QLGN is getting ready over the 628s right here. You could take a breakout trade, 628, 628, 628. Take a little breakout trade. If it's getting over, there it goes, 635, 628. Look at that breakout trade right there. Look at that beautiful breakout. This thing can move so far so fast. QLG and if you're trading the pre-market, look at this thing, man. This thing is a monster, a monster, monster, monster. Today is the day to do it. $20 day for you, monkey. Maybe it is, man. Good morning, everyone. It's so good to be here with you each and every day. So QLG and let's go through this stock before uh, I'm going to blow this up a little bit. Let's go through this stock and see what this stock can actually do today. So the pre-market high right now is $6.35. It's $6.35. So let's put that in there. It could go over that, but then we'll fix it. It's probably going to go over it right now. If you are trading the pre-market and traded that breakout, well, you'll have to see what happens. It did do a fake out breakout a little bit earlier, but I like this breakout over the 628s, that little pullback right there. I'm not going to trade in the pre-market. I already traded this in the pre-market down at $5. I took it at $5 and sold into the 520s, <laughs> but oh well, that's what happened. So let's go to the hourly chart. I mean the yearly chart. The daily chart, I mean. So the daily chart, look at it. Here's the orange dotted line down here at 635. That's where it's sitting at right now. What do we notice on this? Look back here. It has a full gap all the way up to $20.89 back there. It has ran in the recent past. It does have news. QLGN does have news. What's the news on this thing? Something to do with the flu, an antibody test for the coronavirus, an antibody test. So look how far this can move. Look at that. All the way down from here, basically where it's sitting at, this thing can move so far so fast. Look, it's got all the way up to $22, $20. Every time it goes up, it starts moving. It can move a long ways. It can move fast. It can move far. Let's go to the hourly chart since we noticed that. Is there anything else, any key levels we notice? My daily support resistance lines, I have one at 376. I have one at 578. I have one at $7. This one's really going to come into play right here. If it gets over that $7, possibly that's a little line where I would be looking to get in up over the $7 or something. Here's a $9. I have $8.97 also. Then I have $11.26. And then I have $12.42. And I have $16.53. So this one is moving. This one can move a long ways. This could be a huge money maker today. It has news. Everything's right. It has the volume. It has everything you look for in a stock. Even though it's way, way up there already, it can move. Obviously, it can move further. Let's go to the hourly chart now and see what we notice on the hourly chart. Let's see. Boom. Let me pull back here. So it's been going down, 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 down. Here's the last time it ran in the pre-market right here from $6 all the way up to $7.50 right there. $6 to $7.50 in the pre-market. And then after the pre-market, it ended up selling off right here. Selling off, 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 man. So here's another pre-market move. It went up in the pre-market up to that $6 and that $5.78 and then came back down. And this, this pre-market, no volume on these days, though. Very light volume. So here's one that started moving. Look at this. Look how much volume. 549,000. The pre-market right at the right during the market open went up, up, and up. It doesn't look like it. Look at every time it goes up in the pre-market, it comes back down. But is today the day it's going to go up for longer? This thing can see $20. This thing can go up to $20 in one day. In one, one day. Who knows? Maybe it's just going to come down. Let's see if we notice anything else. 
I don't really notice. All I notice is it's trying to build support by the 578 where my daily support resistance line is. So that's good. The next support is way down by the $5, 530s, 510s down there. So it does have some support right there. Let, let's go to the 15 minute chart, see what we notice on this thing. 15 minute chart, just, I'm not sure. It looks like there could be easy money on the short side, but I still think this one could be moving up to the long side. I really do. I think this thing could keep going. We'll, we'll have to be patient. We'll have to watch. We'll have to see what happens. There's not really nothing we can tell off the daily chart. We can see it does run in the daily. I mean, it has ran in the past, and it can move quite a ways. It moved all the way to $20. One other thing we notice on the hourly chart, sometimes it will run up in the pre-market and then come straight back down. So if it starts holding its gains throughout the market open, maybe that is going to give us a clue that it could be going up, up, and up today. Anyways, that's what I'm looking for. That's my mindset on that thing. So we'll have to see what happens. We'll see what happens. Let me restore sales. There we go. Is there anything else I notice on that? Not really nothing. Anyway, so that 570 is down there. OPK, let's look at OPK. We'll go look at some of these. I also have MYOS. MYOS ended up selling off. Let's look at this one. Anyways, let me get through a couple of my things real quick. I want to show you guys my things, what I go through. Today's day 125 of the Monkey Army March, all the way up. Hello, world. Here I come, $1 million, $996,533 to go to $1 million. And I, you guys heard C-Meg yesterday. I, I called C-Meg on the phone. They needed a new picture of ID. I didn't give them two valid things of ID, so now I have. So now it's being processed again. So we'll see how long the processing takes, and I'm going to be in CMake very, very shortly. It may be the end of uh, July. It may be August 1st. I will be starting CMake most likely because I don't want to start in the middle of a month. I want to start right at the beginning. CLRB is moving a little bit also this morning, so CLRB also. Happy Canada Day. I should not be working, Danny P. For what name ticket you say, sir? Uh, I, I think the best one for today is going to be QLGN, but there's also, I'm going to put down my stocks right now, just so you guys know uh, what I'm, I'm looking at, QLGN, QLGN, which one was it, MYOS, MYOS, uh, YRCW, YRCW, CLRB. Is it going to be CLRB? I'm not sure, but we'll have to look at this one. CLRB. Okay, so uh, what else is moving in here? Let's look. The, oh, TTOO also. So TTOO, TTOO. Here we go. There we go. Okay. The next thing I have to get through is the monkey army. Who's in the monkey army? You guys know who's in the monkey army. I try to put 20% uh, of the ad revenue for future giveaways. I can't make no promises, but I'm doing the best I can. Also, I put the Big Mac, some of that uh, money over on the side for future giveaways. This is just something I'm doing personally. I cannot promise you guys anything. I'm just doing the best I can. You guys know, know that. And our giveaways, we've had seven giveaways so far. The number eight is coming in the future. And you guys know I save $5 each and every day. Saving $5 each and every day so far, I have $23. Right below that is Donate. Some of you guys have been kind enough to donate. Thank you. Every single dollar that comes into this live stream stays with this live stream. The next thing I know, you guys know I try to learn a new word each and every week. Learning a new word each and every work week. This week's word is agog. Agog. Very eager or curious to hear or see something. Full of intense interest or excitement. Eager. Agog. That's what agog means, man. That's what agog. Good morning, Greg Spaulding. Mark, Grazer1. Let's do this. Chris Cook, Danny Quest, Monkey, Danny Lynch. Always good to see you. A new picture or without the cab. Uh, what name ticket you say? Okay. Happy Canada. Danny P for Q&Q &Q Gaming. Christian Ramirez. Good to see you. Mike M. Good to see you guys in here. And if you have won one of the last three giveaways, 
please send me an email. Look at QLGN up over the $6 is another pivot point right there. Up over the six, it did build the support. This thing is looking so, so good. But anyways, I'm not gonna trade the pre-market. If I was trading the pre-market, I would probably try to take it right here by the $6, and I would be selling up towards the seven uh, 620s, and then try to hold a piece on up. Look at that thing go. Look at this thing go, man. Look at QLG, and I want to show you, AGOG wasn't the word for yesterday. Yes, I know, I didn't have time to put out the word for yesterday. But anyways, I try to get the word out each and every week, so let's QLG, and look at that pullback right there. I, I'm going to try a couple shares right here just to trade this thing, 606. I got in at 606 just with two shares. I'm taking a paper trade. Basically, this is just a testing trade so I can mark it out on my chart for later on. So anyways, I'm going to keep a tight stop of 595 right here, 594, 590 right there. 590 is my stop now, 590. We'll see what happens. Maybe this is just coming down. Maybe it's coming down. Sometimes I do add to this position, which would be down here by the 578s. I think this thing's going up towards the 620s. I'm just taking a little trade. Anyways, one other thing I have to do. I shout you from the rooftops. I shout you out loud. I shout you wherever I go. This is everybody who's donated to the channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Every single dollar that comes into this live stream stays with this live stream. Anyways, there you go, man. So yesterday's trades, I'm going to show you guys yesterday's trades real quick, and then we'll start talking about some stocks again. Uh, Green Day plus $9.47 yesterday. I took 14 trades, 57% win rate, 8, eight winners, 16% uh, average winner, 6 losers, 11 cent average loser. Wins and losses in the number of cents yesterday would be plus 63 cents. So if I was trading a thousand shares across the board, I wouldn't have been trading a thousand shares across the board because one of those stocks actually moved a dollar a minute. So I probably would have made about $200 yesterday, actually, if I was trading how I trade. Here we go. Let's get going. Let's see what's happening. Here this goes. So you guys know where I always sell half of my shares. I always sell half of my shares at the first profit target, which is about 620, 618, 620 right there. 618, 620. We'll see what happens. Maybe this is just coming down right here. IDEX got lawsuits. Let's make our money. Thank you, Danny Lynch. Roland B, thank you guys for being part of the Big Macs there. Thank you guys for being the Macs. If anybody else wants to be a Big Mac, uh, there's, there's a Friday live stream, and I'm setting up a thing for Discord, but I don't want to separate us too much. But you guys know because we're one big group, we're continuing on, but the Big Macs, you guys are standing standing up keychain holder stand up you guys know i salute both of you guys Sub subscribers also you guys know that and donates of course are on top of the world i'm keeping a tight list of everybody we're going to the top together we're going to the moon ma'am we're going to make it we're going to make it ttoo just did a breakout above the uh, it does have some resistance above at 220 on ttoo which is also moving right now a little bit. Look at this one, TTOO. It is coming up. It's coming right up into that resistance. Extend to the right, right there. If it can get above the 220s, I may start looking for a trade on this one. 220s, I may start looking for a trade. Let's go back to QLGN. This thing's getting me wrecked. Let's go. I, oh, look at this, going down, down, and down. Down, down, and down. We'll see what happens at the market open. Thanks, Trading Monkey. Please, you put the name of ticker for people can know what name. Thanks a lot, sir. You good guy. Thank you. Uh, through V, I'm looking at stock QLGN right now. I'm trying to keep everything straightened out and stuff like that. What are we going to be trading today? Are you going to trade right out the market open? Are you going to give the stocks a few minutes? Are, are any of these stocks setting up for a gap and go? That's basically all I would be looking for. And a gap and go on QLGN would be up over this high right there, the pre-market high basically, 
basically up over the $6, $6.10 right here towards the market open. Or the next trade I would be looking for would be the open washout boom down to the 550s. But I'm probably not going to, I would not take the open washout boom on this stock unless the volume looked good. But over that 635, I thought over the 625, did you see that breakout? That was a basically a fake out breakout, but you could have took some of your profits if you were super duper quick. Here's AKRO is moving around a little bit. So MYOS also, MYOS coming down. We're going to have to give these stocks a little time. It looks like the stock market is kind of... I'm not sure what's happening. Did you see, uh, what was that stock yesterday? Oh man, where is that stock? P-O-L-A did a beautiful pr uh, after uh, power hour move above the $3. Above the $3, P-O-L-A did a beautiful, beautiful power hour move. Right over that three, right on up. Never trade at open, Dean Simmons says. Yes, I have not been doing good at the market open. Definitely have not been doing that good. So let me put my share back up here. You guys know where I'll sell. About 618. Six. So at 618, that would be about 12 cents a minute right there. Maybe I'm probably just going to hold this on a little bit longer. Looks like the buyers are going to come in. The gap and go in the pre-markets is up over the 635s too. Over the 635s, if it's not too stretched out, if it kind of does a micro pullback there, is it going to make it to the 650s? Obviously, the 650s is going to be like a magnet up there. So over that 635, sell into the 650s, some money right there, 12 cents, a thousand shares. What are you capturing? 120 bucks in your pocket. Quick, fast, and not easy. I got five dollars from Pope. Oh yeah, I want to show you my trade on P-O-L-O. -O. I'll show you where I took it the very first time. I sold too early, just like usual. I, I bought it right here at 517. I, I sold uh, one of those shares at 527 and then I was going to hold the other share on up over the 550s but it stalled out by the 530s and then I said okay I'm just getting out and I messed up on that thing man. I messed up. I should have never did that. Anyways, I did take a losing trade this morning on stock. Was it uh, YRCW? I lost $2 or a dollar. I lost a dollar. I held on to a loser too long. And then I did take a good trade on it. But I did not. I, I sold too early, of course, again. Here we go. Here we go. Look at y, uh, QLGN. So 618, 618, I am going to sell one, 617, 617, I'm selling one of my, half of my shares right there. I always have to stick to my game plan. I'm looking for this to go up to the 650s, maybe the $7 up there. We'll see what happens. ATHE is going up. Where is my ATHE? Is that $1.52? It's not going up to me. It's going straight down, man. <laughs> maybe it's going up. But QLGN, top stock right now. If you are going to take a breakout trade, possibly over the 625 pivot, if it can suck down for a minute, just like it's doing right here, and then boom, over the 625, 635, add, 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 650, boom, $7 next target. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Or is it just going to come down? Maybe it's just coming down also. But it looks like over the 625 right here would be a good starter position. And then 635, 640, 650. Let's go. Let's go, ma'am. Let's get going. I got A-T-H-E, uh, Mark. Yeah, that one, maybe it's going to go up today. But Q-L-G-N, I believe, is the top, top stock. So anyways, we'll trade this. That was a good entry where I got in that $6 classic. Here we go. Up over the 625s, first paper trade. Boom. 635, add over the 635. Boom. 635, have a 630 average. Is it going to make it? Maybe take some of your profit up over the 625 to 635. Add, now you have a 630 average. Hold on to the 650s. Piece out of some of your shares up over the 650s right there. Boom, boom, boom. 650s would be your next target. I would at least sell some of your shares. You can always add back into your position. Maybe even get out flat right at the 650s. Up towards the $7 up there. But look at that, man. 625. 
625 to 640. Is it going to do a fake out breakout right here or is it going to keep going up? Looks like it's dipping down a little bit. But anyways, that was a good trade right there around the 625 all the way up to the 640s. I think it's going to 650. Here you go. Boom. Here's your next profit target right on up there. Let, let me get out. I'm going to get out some of my shares right here over the 650s. Over 654, I will sell some of my shares. Actually, I'm just going to ride this up with the momentum. Let it ride up with the momentum. If it gets over the 650, then I'll put my stop at 640. My stop's going to be 640 now. We'll see what happens. 640, come on, keep going. There you go. Sell some of your target. A lot of people are taking profit right there. Oh, man. Oh man, I should I uh, there I go. I stepped out at 640. I I didn't really want it to go down that far. I thought maybe it would, but 635 maybe I should have put my stop. I should have just sold over the 650s, but I didn't. Good trade right there. Good job. Way to start your day off right there. That 625. If you didn't want to get in where I got in at the $6 at 625, add over the 635 and then sell into the 650s just like that. Now you're clean. You're good. You have your uh, profit for the day. You have a little cushion on the day. Now you can really start your day pretty clean right there. YRCW, uh, YRCW, no, uh, QLGN, man, stock QLGN. Oh, monkey, check it. Okay, YRCW, I will check that one. But I'm afraid, look at this pullback here. Sometimes I do take this pullback right here. The only reason I'm not taking this pullback is because 650 is over its head. Risk to reward, either cut your loses quick or hold your winners longer. Whatever suits you. Let's go, monkey. I just made money on QLGN. Charlie Chavez, that's a great little trade right there. Great little trade right there. Beautiful, classic trade. Nothing wrong with that trade. This stock can go all the way to $20. I think it's going to get to, how far did I, th I think this thing's going to get up to $14 today. That's just what I think. How high do I think, or yeah, no, twelve forty-two. I think this thing will get to twelve forty-two today. That's my uh, deal. Twelve forty-two, right there. Twelve forty-two. Here we go. That pullback. Did you guys take that pullback? I consider this the first pullback right there. I didn't trust it because it had six fifty over its head, but it did did go up. Where's your next trade at now? Hopefully, it can go up. It can do a classic uh, micro pullback into the six fifties. I would take that trade actually. Six fifty. Let me, uh, 651, 655. Oh, man, I can't get in. It's hard to get in right here. Boom. Okay, I'm in at 654 right here. I'm keeping my stop tight at 644. I'm looking for this to go up. Oh, man, 644, 644. Come on, all the way up to the 680. Six, uh, I'm looking for this to bust over the 666. If it doesn't, I'll have to get out at 640, worst case scenario, 640s. I'm trying to buy the dip and sell the rip right here. Buy the dip and sell the rip up over the 680. A little bit risky right here, but this is okay for me. I only took very small share size, 640, still coming down, still trying to find its feet right there. We'll see what happens, 640s. I just want to buy the dip and sell the rip up towards the 670s. Here we go, 670s, boom. 670s get up there 654 670s come on get up there get going 666 is a breakout trade over the 666 is a breakout boom 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 654 655 650 man that thing did not make it it's kind of double topping right there I'm just looking. Oh, there we go. I got plus 10 cents right there. I didn't like how it kind of uh, rested right there at 666. So I just got out for plus 10 cents right there. But anyways, I, I would be holding half of my shares, but I'd probably be getting stopped out right here at 654. Buy the dip, sell the rip right there. BYND, look at that, man. Look at this, man. This thing is a powerhouse. There you go. If you're still holding on, your next profit up towards $7 up there, maybe $7, 670, 675. Let's go, man. TTOO, YRCW, highest volume right now. Uh, QLGN has the best range, the best amount of profit in my eyes. But there's so many great traders around this live stream where there's some good, good, uh, 
good good money around here good I mean good looks at the stock market and you guys know that I'm just telling you what I'm trading there's many stocks moving but I think the top stock for the day right now in the pre-market is QLGN stock QLGN man I'm not going to take no more trades until see how it kind of look what this is setting up for now at the market open up over the 667s for a breakout trade up into the seven dollars you guys know there'll be a lot of buyers up over that 667 maybe it's going to do a fake out breakout it's been doing a couple fake out breakouts look at this fake out breakout actually anytime at fake out breakouts it fake out breakouts hard man so we'll have to see what why do you think qlgn will go to 12 just with the right momentum with the right momentum and the volume so good I just think that's the level it's going to get to. Just adding, I have a, a, a little formula how I add up the volume. I'm not really right a lot of the times, but I'm right consistently enough for it to for me to keep it in my stats. I'm not I'm right over 50% of the time, but just barely, like 51, 52% of the time, I will be right. But those ain't very good odds, but that's just picking how high the stock will go. So if I'm if I'm 50% picking how high the stock will go, then I can find my strategies, my setups in in between some of that. If the stock just ends up selling off, then obviously I was wrong and I will not be taking a trade, uh, taking a trade on this. This stock, how far can this move? How far can this move? This thing can move 30, 40 cents a minute. 30, 40 cents a minute. So you're going to have to be really prepared for a 30 to 40 cent loss if you got in on this thing. So what are we going to do? How many shares will I trade? 25 shares. 25 shares. Your secret formula. Yeah, I, it's not really a secret formula. It's just how I figured out the volume, how I've been doing it. Just It's just math, just basic math, just figuring it out. Here we go. The market's going to open like three minutes, two and a half minutes. Remember to always trade your own plan and plan your own trade. I'm probably not going to take a trade right out the market open. I'm just going to relax, take a deep breath, and take a drink of coffee. And take a drink of coffee. I, w I will be in my notebook I'm making. I have a lot of your guys' notes in there, a lot of statistics in there, and I will be... Uh, I will be giving that to you guys at some point in the future. And take a drink of coffee. Monkey, how does OPTN look? I'm not sure. I'm, let's look at that real quick. OPTN is coming up. I better put this on a chart, actually. OPTN, I better put on a chart. OPTN, what, what chart? What, what chart? Oh, man, I need to hurry up. OPTN, OPTN. Okay, here we go. Boom. QLGN, let's get back over there. So OPTN, I do have up on a chart. The market's going to open in about one minute. I'm probably not trading at the market open. Remember, risk to reward, risk to reward. Is it uh, worth the risk? On low flow small cap stocks, you have to, I, I, I believe you have to use areas or you're just going to get stopped out a lot. Unless you're trading those quick breakouts on stocks that can move 30, 40 cents a minute and taking those breakouts for 10, 15, 20 cents right there. That's going to be a good trade all day long. Here we go up over the 667. Is it going to get up to the $7? Looks like people are, nope, had a rip neck, had a rip neck right there. A rip neck, rip neck, high alert, rip neck. STZ, 190 call. Seek, it's no secret formula. It's just basic math, man. <laughs> basic math. Sometimes I'm not the best at basic math. Maybe I'm figuring it out wrong. Who knows? This is just how I've calculated overall average volume on different situations. That's basically all it is. And, and basically an average true range of a stock on momentum. That's all the figure the math is about right there. Here we go. We have about five seconds until the market opens. Let's get this money. Let's get this money. Ding, 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 ding. The market is open. The market is, oh, look at that. 670s. Whoa. 
Pam, pam, pam. Oh my gosh. Oh my freaking gosh, man. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Did you see that? I tried to take it on that 650 pullback right there. That 650 pullback, I did not get filled. Thinkorswim is lagging out, man. Thinkorswim is lagging out. I tried to get in right there. Oh my gosh, what is happening? QLGN, if I was on CMEG, I would have like uh, $300 in my pocket right now. Uh, 200 shares, 200 shares right there, man. 200, I'd have about 200 bucks. TOS stinks. Here we go, QLGN. I will talk about the trades. There was a breakout trade right there over the 677. This thing can get all the way to $12. That $7 pullback. There could be a little $7 pullback here. It's going up, up, and up. All the way up right there, man. All the way up. Let, let me monitor this, see what's happening. Am I in this thing or what? Am I in? Uh, rejected QLGN. 6.30, man, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. It says I canceled my order because I did not get filled. TTOO is going straight up right now. TTOO is another one. TTOO, let me make sure I'm flattened out of this position. Oh, I cannot believe that, man. I, I, did you see me? Warrior's entry was 6.30. That's where I took it. I took it at 6.50, man. That was perfect. Perfect, nice, beautiful right there. MYOS is going up. TTOO just did a huge breakout also. So anyways, I did not have a chance to trade this because uh, did you see me? I hit the buy button right at the 650s when it was doing that little micro pullback. I tried to sell into the $7 right there. So anyways, I did not get that. That could have been five bucks in my pocket already. Good way to start the day right there. Let's go, man. You complain too much. Carl Dozier. Yes, I know. That's why I'm going to see Meg, so I will not complain no more. But you guys seen me click the buy button. You guys seen me click the sell button. I, I bought right there. I, I bought market. I joined the ask on the way up. That was a beautiful trade to me. And I will put it in my record books. Put it in my record books. MYOS is coming up. MYOS is coming up. TTOO, stock TTOO. MYOS is moving. Is moving. MYOS is moving right now. So let's look at that one. Look at this one going up. All these stocks are moving. It's just so hard. I may have to take a trade. Where am I looking for? Up over this 250. If it gets up over the 250 and rests, I'll probably take a trade right there. But I think I'm going to stay with QLGN right now. I'm going to trade two shares just until Thinkorswim starts working. Till Thinkorswim starts working. But MYOS up over that 250. I like it up over the 250. Uh, TTOO I liked up over the 220s right there. But I don't really like to trade TTOO too much. But anyways, that 220 pullback right here is an okay trade. But let me see if this is working actually. Let me get in here. Let me see what's going on right here. 220s, 224, 220. It has a lot of resistance where it sold off at, though. I'm probably not taking that trade right there. Anyways, let's go. He's just emotional because he loves trading and he hates missing trades. Yes, I hit it, man. How are you able to scale with this POS platform? TOS platform. Man, this TOS platform. Man, I bought it. As soon as it dipped down to that 650s, I was in. But I wasn't in because think or swim. See, Meg, that would have been clean money right there. Clean, clean money. All the way up to seven bucks, ma'am. Oh, well, that's the price you pay. Uh, uh, Stock Hedgehog, good to see you, man. R O K U S D G R M S F T U A L. Stock Hedgehog is saying right now. So T T O O, that 220, but it did have a lot of resistance up at that 230 right there. M Y O S. I think Q L G N. Where are you going to take it at? Where will you take it? Over the 742. It could go to 750 quite easily. Or maybe over this pivot point. No, 742. I would take it right there. 
but let's see if I can do it again. 742. It does have support down here at 679. The 679s. Boom, boom, boom. 679. Resting a little bit. It's resting perfectly up over the 742 to the 750s. 742 to 750s. Let's see what happens right here. We'll have to see SHIP is going up. SHIP is going up. High alert on SHIP. ATHE is also going up. Boom, boom, boom. 748. Oh my gosh. 748. I got in at 748. I'm looking for this to push up to the $8. Maybe 748. 748. Come on, man. 748. 748. Push over the 750s. Push over the 750s. 720s. I will have to get out. 720s. I will have to get out. 720s. 720s. I will get out. 30 cent risk. I'm looking for this to go up to the 780s right here. 780s. Come on. 735. Maybe it's just going to come back down. That's okay also. 735. Come on. 720s. Nope. Okay. Boom. I had to add right there. I'm looking to get out for break even. It got me. Got me right there. 724. 725. 725 right here. 704. There's a washout right there. If it goes below 693, I'm going to get out. Oh my gosh, I may have to, I'm not adding again. 783. Oh my gosh, okay, here we go. It's working okay right now. I lost a dollar right there. I didn't sell on the way down. That's okay to me right there. Look at that washout right into the support though right there. I sold right at the support level. I sold right at the support level, $7. $7 up over the $7.15. That was a red trade right there. That was a red, red trade right there. Man, I would have such a big cushion on the day right now, but um, I don't. I don't, 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 ma'am. U-A-L-D-A-L-V. Let's go. $7. So let's we'll see if it gets over the $7. A washout. A washout for a quick pop here. We'll see what happens. Down here, $6.44 now. $6.44. Bump. 670. I'm in at 670 right there. 670. 670. 673. 683. 683 right here. We'll see what happens. 673. 82. 82. Let's go. 82. 679. 670. 82. Boom. I got filled right there with half of my shares. I'm looking for this to go back up. Here we go, 673. I'm looking for this to push up over the $7. Up over the seven. Bump. I, I'm out right there. I took a little green trade. That's just the drop, fake, and pop boom right there. The drop, fake, and pop boom into that prior support there. I just wanted to get green back green on the day right there. That's a good little trade, what I just took right there. To me, that's a good trade. Maybe it's not a good trade to you. Remember to trade your own plan, plan your own trade. I probably shouldn't have took that, try that, buy the dip, sell the rip. I thought it was going to rip to $8. I really did, man. There we go. Okay, so let's go. There is still money to be made on ATHE, possibly on ATHE. I see SHIP moving, and what else is moving? It looks like QLGN is starting to capture all the volume. QLGN. Look at this going up. If you did get in where I did, that's the drop fake. The pop is up over the 7. The boom is up over the 750 up here. So if you're still in, congratulations. Congratulations. This thing has lots of money. It can get up to the 1240s today. At least I think so. Maybe it can't. Hey, monkey, Mr. Frosty, good job. Let's do this, man. We got this. We got this. See all this resistance right here at the 720, 716? Where would the next entry be on this? Let's kind of look back and see what it did before back here. Let's look. So it went up, did a fake out breakout, went up, did a fake out breakout, and then look. See what this did? It went up, did a fake out breakout, consolidated, and then bust, started going up again. So 
Hopefully it can consolidate here by the $7 is what I'm looking for. The $7 right there. So QLGN has lots of money. QLGN, there's ODP. ODP, no, uh, M-Y-O-S. QLGN, QLGN. It did do the little break over the seven, so that was the pop. And now here's the second VWAP test. The second VWAP test, sometimes these have been, uh, man, this is, if it busts below the $7 or the 660s, the 640s, 630s, it's probably going to have to come all the way back down to the $6. So maybe you could take a short sell here pretty quick. But anyways, it looks like I'm hoping it goes up. ATHE is still moving a little bit. Thank you guys for being here. I just want you to know that. Thank you guys. There was a good little buy the dip, sell the rip trade right there. Y, uh, YRCW waiting on a good reversal. YRCW, MYOS, if that thing gets over the 250s up there, looking pretty good. Looking good. MYOS up over the 250s. The 250s, we'll, we'll have to see what's happened. QLGN, I would probably short sell right into the 640s right there and try to cover at $6. That's a weakness trade, just short into the weakness and cover down by the 610s, the 615s. 630 to 610, 615, that's a good one. And then I would try a long trade down off the $6 on a QLGN. Basically, that's what I'd be looking for. There's money all over the market. We just got to find our money. Find our money. Let's go, man. Man, I can't believe QLGN was a beautiful gap and go. Beautiful trade right at the market open. Right at the market open, man. YRCW short. I, I mean, I would just short it down into the $6. Just down into the $6. But it has so much volume, so much momentum on it. So it's a little bit tough. You'd have to keep your stop super tight. I would put my stop right over the 650, like 651, 651 right there. But we'll we'll see what happens. Yes, R R C W R. Oh, not R C. I I wasn't talking about R C W. I I was talking about Q L G N. I I meant Q L G N. That short right there down to the six dollars. It does have some support right here though too. We'll, we'll have to see what's happening. Looks like all the money is all the money made on this thing already. Look at this. Look at the volume now. Everybody left. Everybody left. Where are they going to? Where are they going to? They'll probably jump right over here. They'll probably throw you off and then come back over here when they buy off the bottom. And then they'll go, oh, look, look over here. Look over here real quick. Look over here real quick when you don't even notice that QLGN is coming back up right behind your eyes and then they get to sell right into you. QLGN looking for the $5 miss, yes. Crappy entry on QLGN due to TOS slack still green but missed. Zona J, did you get did you get filled anywhere there? I tried to get filled as it was breaking right there and just horrible horrible situation. So anyways, I would cover my position at $6. So this is where I should be entering is right here. I'm going to do a starter position with just five shares though. Five shares. Boom. I'm getting in at 605. Maybe this is coming down. I'm going to add at the 580s. I will add at the 580s down here. I think it's going to get... Oh, there goes MYOS up over the... Uh, 605, 615. I'll just take that easy little money right there from 605 to 615. That, that might as well take that money there because I need to get over to MYOS. They're throwing me off right there. I probably should go. Okay. So $2, 250, 50 shares, 50 shares. Here we go. Let's see what's happening right here on MYOS. MYOS QLGN. It does look like an okay trade right there. What is happening here? 250s. Man. Oh man. I, I I wanted to get a little dip in here. A little bit of a dip in there. Oh my gosh, I missed that trade too already. I like to be in, I like to be out super quickly. 250s, 250s. 250s, I'm using 240 as my wrist down there. 240. 
Boom. I'm in at 254 right there. 254. I sold some of my shares right there. 254. Boom. Boom. <laughs> 254 to 270 right there. Look at that. It does have room up to the 280s. I just wanted to take that little bit of money right there. 254 classic. If some of you guys that are holding on, it has room up to 280s. And then above 280s, it has room up to the $3. Look at that, man. Good trading. Good trading, guys, right there. You did you dip bought that. I could see that. Look at that. Good trade, guys. Good trade into the 250s all the way up to 260s. Hit 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 it at 677. Filled at 735. Zona J, that sucks. Well, we're going to see how CMAG works pretty quick. If you guys are thinking about going to CMAG, I may be getting an, uh, one of those affiliate links with CMAG. I'm not sure or whatever. And then we're going to, we'll see what we're going to do from that point forward. How uh, I have to make sure everything's on the up and up and all that, C or whatever. But, anyways, we're going to do good stuff and we'll see how I do on CMAG. If you're thinking about going there, maybe uh, it'd be a good idea to basically. Basically, watch me a little bit. How do you buy so quick? I buy market right there. I buy market and I sell. Usually, I try to sell on the ask. If I can't sell on the ask, I just hit the flat now key. Look at this pulling back right here. It is moving a little bit uh, good. Did somebody, uh, what happened? How do you, uh, Anchor, I, I'm just scalping the market. That's all I'm doing. This buy the dip right here into the 240s, my stop would have been down here at 240s down there. So it still wouldn't have stopped me out. I think this could go all the way to $3. I really think this could go to $3. Look at QLGN. Look at this. Off the $6 all the way up to $6.30. This stock has such good range. MYOS, look at that. MYOS, good job, guys, buying the dip again. I almost bought the dip again, but I did not buy the dip right there. I should have bought the dip again. Good job. Anybody that's holding on to this, do not get freaked out. Uh, everything is all systems go. <laughs> all systems are go, go, go. Look at that, all the way up to 280. I, I probably should have held up into the 280s. That was my profit target, but oh, go. What happened to TTOO? It was coming up. Didn't you see that 220 right there? It had resistance at 230. As soon as I skipped over there, I seen the resistance at 230. I wanted to get in at 220, but I seen the resistance at 230, so I said no. This one also has resistance, but it has resistance around the 280s. And the resistance was far enough in between those cracks right there to be a good, good... Uh, Good trade right there. A little. I'm just looking for cracks, chinks in the armor. You know what I mean? That's what I'm looking for. That's where I'm getting my money. That's where I'm trying to get my money. MRNS just did a red to green move. MRNS just it went red on the day and now it went green. It went green. Look at this all the way up, man. Uh, so monkey, you know, just about 90% of what I've called to you has pushed over my predictions. QLGN will bounce back to 715 and crack 820. Remember to let it marinate. I took 100 shares at 610. Yes, I. you're right. Monkey Army General, thank you guys for the great uh, information. Johnny K, Roland B, everybody here, Monkey Army General, thank you guys for being here every day. Look at this, man. Now, now I'm in MYOS at 260. Good job. Good job right there, Sassel. That's a great trade. It has room all the way up to $3 easily up over this 293. I'm hoping it can get over the 293s and build that as support, and I'll start looking for my next trade. But we'll, we'll see if it makes it up that high. And this little trade right here was a clean, good trade. 260 to 280. 20 cents? 20 cents on that stock? That's a good little move right there. But maybe you're looking for, how much are you actually looking for? Are you looking for a whole dollar move for it to go all the way up to 373? If you have that in your stats and your stats are saying that works out on your statistics, then go for it. Just go for it, man. That's how we got to do this, man. We holding and adding. Good job, man. That That's where I'm going to get my next position. It's probably up over the $3. If it can go to like 315, 320s, 
and then come back down into the $3, I will probably take a position right there. It will be a little bit stretched out, but that, I'll consider that basically the first buy the dip, sell the rip to make a lower high, even if it's going to make a lower high up over the 330s up there, that there's still going to be enough money for me to get in there. Look at that, man. I should have let this one marinate. You're right. I should have let this one marinate perfectly, man. QLGN, what happened? It, it's still right at the support. It's right at the support right now. You could actually take another position on QLGN at 577 right now and have one of the tightest stops available. Look at this, 293s. Man, look at that, man. Good job. You guys, that was this. There's been two clean trades so far. QLGN at the market open. And now this one, MYOS. At least to me, that's what I've seen. That's what I've seen right there. So we'll, we'll have to see what's going to happen out here. QLGN, that would have been one of the cleanest trades. You were right off of support right there. There it goes, man. There it goes. Here we go again. It's a little stretched out. So I'm probably, man, this one still is going. Still is going, man. But it's a little stretched out into that resistance. I'm going to need it to get a little bit higher and then confirm this support right here. Confirm the $3 support. You could try to anticipate, but this one, look how far it's moved already. Last time it moved up, it had consolidate for at least five minutes. Five minutes right there. Here it goes. There it goes, man. Look at that thing. Still going, going, going. Scalpers add on the way up before selling. Yes, yeah, some scalpers add on the way up. Uh, monkey, not, I mean, uh, will not yet. I did not make $50. You will see me making $50 and $100 on CMake. I definitely will make some money there. I, I mean, because I'll just, I'll be trading exactly the same, but I'll be taking a larger position. A larger position. 273. 296, 293, I'm thinking about getting in this right here. Where would I put my stop? I'd have to put my stop down at 281. I don't really want to uh, ruin what I got right here. 281, 293, 281, $3 right there. Okay, $2, bump. I'm buying at 294 right here. 294, 294. 294, 304, okay, here we go, 294, I'm in at 294 right there, we'll see, $3 is being uh, held down a little bit right there, oh, there it went, okay, boom, boom, <laughs> boom, 304, look at that, oh man, look at that little trade right there, good job guys, that's what I was looking for, that little dip right there, monkey army strong, the monkey army's powerful, look at that, 304, the next area is up towards the 350s, you could, you could uh, get it again up towards the 350s, that's a good add, add, add trade up towards the 373s, good money on this stock, great, great money on this stock, man. Why re-enter after three? You could have sold at the three. Yeah, that's true. I, I, I'm just scalping the market. I'm looking for little entries on my scalp trades. On my little uh, uh, areas on my scalp trades, sure, I could have held the whole position. But over time, my 65% successful is on my scalp trade. Uh, over this high right here, it gets down to 40%. I would have to reconfigure all my strategies, basically. I do want to start holding on a little bit, a little bit of pieces longer, higher. But right now, I just want to get out most of my position. Look at this, man. Good job up over the $3. That 293 was a good little buy the dip, sell the rip trade. That trade, there's some good, great good trades on there. Look, let's see where our next trade's going to be up here. Where's our next trade going to be? I'm not sure. If you're still holding on, you know the high a day, the pre-market high is at 373. Is it going to get over the 350s, the 340s up there? QLGN, a good job getting it. Uh, Johnny K, QLGN at 582 to 602. Johnny K, that's a beautiful, great trade right there. Great, great trade right there, Johnny K. Right off of support. You couldn't have got no tighter on that support down there. That support right down by the 577. Beautiful, nice, perfect. 
Look at that, 340s, kind of getting rejected. Welcome to the channel, Bimel uh, Pradin. Welcome to the channel, man. Thank you for coming. Look at that, $3 all the way up to 340s right there. And then uh, 250s all the way up. Look at this, still going higher. The buyers are still buying this thing. Uh, it looks like a lot, a lot of profit takers by this 340. A lot of profit takers by the 340s, so. though. A lot, a lot of profit takers there. A lot, a lot of profit takers. They may, they may want to let it rest for a little bit. Where would you get in if you were in down here and took profit up there? Where are you going to get in? You have a little sack of money in your pocket right now. You have a sack of money. Hopefully it can hold above this $3 right here and keep going up. QLGN, look at that. I, I was going to take this trade again right there. I tried it right there. That was my ad spot was down at the 580s. But anyways, look at this. QLGN going up, up, and up. Covering half position short on YRC dub. Oh, Paladin was calling that short. Good job, Paladin. Man, I can't wait to jump on that train too, uh, Paladin. I, I would love to uh, take some of those trades also. Take some of those short sells also. QLGN right down to the $6. Look at that short sell on QLGN also was a beautiful short sell. TTOO, where's TTOO? Going all the way back down. You've seen the resistance at 230. It kind of stretched through. I want to show you that one. Look at that. Soon as I came over here, I almost took this at 220. I probably was stopped out there, but after I looked at it, look at all the resistance at the 228s, 230s right there. Had so much resistance. It was going to have to get through that and then start using that as support. Then I would have got in for the high of day break right there. But that 220 is not the best entry after looking at it. To me, it wasn't. I, I looked at it. I thought it was at first, but then after looking at it the second time, it just wasn't. QLGN. Let's look at that. MYOS. What else is moving here? Let's go look around. Let's go look around. 24 cents. AXGN. ATHE. What else is moving here? QLGN. MYOS is the best one. MYOS, I, I would not take this dip right here into the 290s. Where would I look for a trade? It would have to be down here by the 260s. But then if I got in at the 260s, it would have to be a scalp trade because I would uh, buy the drop fake and pop boom to the 260s and then sell up towards the 280s, 290s right there. But that's not a very, that's trying to catch a falling knife basically. I have too many daily support resistance lines right around there for me to risk that. You could, you, I guess you could try the 290s. I, I'm pro, I, I wouldn't try that, but... Anyways, I guess that's okay if it can stay up above there. Look at that. The long wicks, the profit takers. Now, now maybe the buyers are coming back in. Look at that thing, man. This thing, maybe there is going to be another trade on this thing. We'll have to see. YRCW, balls shrivel, <laughs> my gum. Good call, monkey, on TTOO. Thank you, Mark Mansell. That means a lot. Yes. After seeing that up towards the 230s, that's why I did not take that trade. I jumped over there real quick when it was by the 220s though and was thinking about taking that trade right there, but it just wasn't worth the risk. It just had too much resistance. Not like MYOS, this had free skies ahead right here. This was a good one. Great, great trade right there. TTOO, here we go. Oh, maybe you're buying off support though or something. TTOO, I basically if I could short sell that thing, look at this thing. Wait, let's look. TTOO, where is that? Oh, launch Ted. Oh, that's the flu one. Actually, I'm not real sure about this one. I, I was thinking, where would I short sell it at? I would short sell if it could push right up into this 208, two dollar level. I would start a short sell right there, but I, I'm not sure now, but. Here we go with QLG and they're doing it. They're doing it, man. 617, getting through that resistance right there of 611. Here's a quick trade right here. Six, uh, 620, man, if I could have got the 612s right there, the 612s up to the 650s. 612s up to the 650s.
Man, I'm taking it right there. 625, 625 to 635, 45 I'm looking for. Just a quick scalp. If it comes down to the 610s, I'm getting out. The 610s, I will get out. I will get out at the 610s. 610, 625, 650. Maybe it's just coming down. You know how sometimes they'll test it, come back down. There it went, man. 610, 608. 608 six dollars right there six dollars i'm putting my stop hard stop in there right now 5.99 i'm putting my hard stop 6.25 five oh my gosh i cannot believe that man got me good got me freaking good right there i i i i kind of fomoed that a little bit i guess right there i should have waited at least i only took five shares oh my gosh i fomoed that one i thought they were going to push it right to seven dollars if it pushes through this six uh this resistance right here at 6 30s i will get in again man i should have i cannot believe that that's a red trade right there seventh trade is a red trade seventh trade I wasn't real confident in it. That's why I took less share size. But I thought it was going to push right to the 650s. That's the problem. So it, if it starts getting through the 630s right here, I'll possibly take it. Memorize the move. It keeps doing that. Yes. Uh, look at this. Look what this. I mean, this could have went either way right there. It could have went either way. If I keep my stop tight, I let it go a little bit further because I had smaller share size and I could afford to let it go a little bit further and retest that $6 if it wanted to. Here it comes back up. Here it comes. Man, 605. I'm not going to try it right here though. I'm going to wait. If it gets back over the 630s, I will enter again right there over the 630s. YRCW is coming back up to the $3. I'm late to the party. What's up, fam? It's going good. I, I'm waiting for... There it goes. Wait. M-Y-O-S. M-Y-O-S. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know why you're still hoping... I see. I, Q, I know. Q-L-G-N. The only reason I am, I'll tell you why, is look at the market open. It didn't trend down for the first five minutes, so I don't consider it a dead, dead stock. They're setting this up just like they always do. It's right down on support. They're setting it up for the move through $7 so they can push, they, they can sell into the people right there. $7 people. There's going to be a lot of FOMO buyers buying up there. Usually I buy up there also. But I don't know. Maybe it's just coming down too. This is just what I have on it. Holding and hoping is my number one strategy. I just scalped the market. So the only reason I held and hoped on this one is because I, I thought basically maybe the $6, that pivot point level, it would bounce off of, but it didn't. Then TTOO is coming up to a short sell spot to me. I would actually start a short sell at 198. At 198, I'm just going to do a paper trade short right there. Paper trade short. I'm going to add all the way into the 220s right here, the 220s. If it get if it gets and holds above 220s, I'll have to get out though. QLGN is looking like the best one. QLGN. Boom boom boom. I'm in on QLGN at 590. I'm using 565 as my risk. 565 as my risk. I'm basically just trying to buy off the support right here and sell into the resistance up over the $6. 590, 590, 590. Let's go. LOL, Paul Duval. I'm in long. TTOO. Good job. Maybe it's a good trade. Christian Garcia, hope and hold is my last plan. <laughs> yeah, that's my last plan too. Look at YRCW coming back up. That one's moving pretty good. So it looks like this one's probably just going to fail. They jumped over there to YRCW. Let's go. Let's go, ma'am. 580s, 580s. 590s. Let's uh, YRCW is moving. TTOO. I'm short at 198. If it comes down to 185, 187, I will just cover my uh, position right there just to take that win. If I'm going to get a win, I'm going to take that win. Look at YRCW right here. Look at this one up over the resistance right here. This is, a, oh man, YRCW. 
YRCW has room up to the 350s. It has room up to the 350s right here. Uh, look at that, 350s. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man, that was it right there, too. That was it. That was it, man. Good, good trading. There's a lot of good trades out in the stock market. Maybe you guys hold for a little bit longer. That's good, too, whatever you do. Sorry, Mark Mansell, I'm sorry, man. I'm not meaning to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it. You're right about that. Boom, boom, boom. We'll see what happens right here. QLGN, or I mean YRCW. MYOS is getting back over. It did the drop, fake, and pop boom right there. Or no, not really. Not close enough. YRCW, YRCW, man. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens right here. 315. It has support right at three dollars. Man, I I I keep wanting to I want to buy this right here. I really want to buy this right here at 313. At 313. Let me uh get over this one now. QLGN. Man, YRCW is setting up so nicely. 566, 565. Okay, YRCW, let's go. Man, look at this. Good trade, guys. Look at that little buy the dip, sell the rip up to uh, the 350s. A perfect trade on YRCW. A perfect trade, man. YRCW was a beautiful little trade. Look at that. 317 up to 330. 15 cents right there. Beautiful 15 cents. MYOS is coming back up all the way up to the 320s now. The 320s and trying to push up over. Doubling my money. Here we go. MYOS is now the entry 360. A 360 on MYOS, maybe. I don't know about that, though. But, I mean, if you trade that, maybe that's a good look. I, I don't know where I would get in on MYOS yet. I, I need it to come up a little bit higher right there. Man, that was such a good one. This still has room up to the 350s up there. Still has room up to 350s. But, here we go. MYOS. MYOS. Oh, I got stopped out at a uh, Q, uh, a losing trade right there. Man, I'm I'm hesitating now. I'm freaking hesitating. Bum bum bum. A thread trade. Man, I'm hesitating on the stock market. Am I green or am I red today? I don't even know anymore. Sixty-seven. Oh yeah, I'm up five bucks on the day today. <laughs> I'm up five bucks on the day. I got stopped out of QLG and I really thought I I took two shots at it and that's good enough for me. Two two shots on that thing. Two shots. T T O O is looking good, good, and good for uh maybe it's coming up. Look at this man. Look at that. Curled right around. Look at this entry right here. I know it's easy to see after the fact, after it got up over that $3. Right over this 315 was a good trade to me. That first five minute candle to make a new high right there. Beautiful, beautiful trade right there. Beautiful classic trade. Easy to see after the fact. Easy to see after the fact. I should have been over here watching that. I should have been over there watching it. Green is always welcome. Yes, Johnny K, I've been green every day this week again. Well, when I can trade how I want to trade, I definitely can make a, uh, make a little bit more money. I mean, I do better. I, I'm just slowly growing my account until I get to CMEG, and then you're going to see me trade on CMEG, just how I'm trading right here. Look at this, man. What is happening? See what happened back here? It went up. It did a fake out breakout. Kind of what it's doing right here, and it has a lot of resistance. Is it what? What's going to happen? I I don't see a trade for me. Look at QLG and just sold completely off, man. I thought they were going to bring that to twelve dollars. They they were just watching that. Look at that that move right there. That's just all the I guess retail traders. No nobody else even interested in this thing. This is just straight retail trader push. And then nothing. That that was just basically nothing. So what do you think was happening back here in the pre-market? 
if, if what happens right here is this is was this all retail traders right here if this was all retail traders and this stock comes back below uh, this four dollars comes all the way back to four dollars what do you think this was right here who was this was this the leader was this the leader of the pack in the pre-market getting this so they could sell out all their position by this point right here what was actually happening right there what was happening what was happening what happened what happened i don't know what happened but remember to trade your own plan and plan your own trade how do you guys buy anchor i i buy with market a lot of most people buy with limit orders i would say but i buy with market on tos uh, on on uh, CMEG, I will be buying with limit orders also. Ross, pre-market pump. Ross, was happening? <laughs> Justin Blatt. Who knows what's happening? Remember, as I'm talking, this is all my own opinion. I have no idea what's going on out there. Sometimes I'm just running blind, but I'm running as fast as I can. I can tell you that. Even if I'm running blind, I'm going full force. If I hit a tree or two along the way, I'm fine with it. I'll get right back up, man. The way you do anything is the way you do everything. Look at this breakout above the 340s. 348, 348. Boom. Well, well, for 346. Oh my gosh, 346. Three thirty eight. <laughs> they weren't liking that one. Okay, let's go. Let's go, man. Three thirty eight, three forty six, three thirty six. Man, this one. I thought this was going right over the three fifties up into the three seventies. It still could, but why didn't it just push right there? Why didn't it push? Three forty six, three thirty six. Three thirty one, three thirty. Oh, patience, monkey, patience. I got out right there. I was, didn't you see it pushing over right there? I, I should have I should have stopped out directly. I thought it had room. It was gonna push it. I thought it was gonna go right into the three seventy threes right there. So I tried to take a trade right there. I shouldn't. Have, I look at that. Look at that downward pressure right there. Look at YRCW. YRCW is going up right now. YRCW. Patience, man. I I really fomoed that one too. So anyways, I ended up red on the day now. I was green and then I was red. So there's ATHE. I need to plan out my next trade. Let's see how much buying power. I have a lot of buying power left. Let's go, man. We got this. No Momo. I'm done. I'll take a small green. I should have took a small green myself, man. So here we go with ATHE. This one's only been up. 183. We'll have to see what's happened. MYOS. MYOS is still going up. Those long wicks on the top. If it gets through that 350, it's probably going to go to 370s right there. But look at this. 180s, 181. I'm trying to see what's happening around this joint, man. Here we go with this one. I cannot believe MYOS. I, I let it go too far again against me. I should have stopped out. As soon as it didn't break out right there, I should have stopped out. That's one of my main problems. One of my main, main problems. So here's ATHE is moving. Stock ATHE is definitely moving. WKHS it had built a bear flag. It's trying to go above the five minute bear flag right there. Look at this, busted over the 174s. So if it could come back down a little bit, we'll see. I need to start uh, 
getting some more money. Buy is now going to run back up. Which one? I'm only trading my plan and planning my trade. That's all I do in the stock. That's all I do. I was looking for a breakout on MYOS above the 350s. It did not break out right there. But this trade right here is looking like an okay trade to me. Um, 182, 182. I'm keeping my stop super tight at 174. At 174, 174 is going to be my t man. Look at this. I bought right at the top again. They are putting the pressure right on my head, man. They are putting the pressure right on my head. Stop, stop, stop doing that, man. LGHL halted. Congrats to people who got Roku 120 uh, calls with me. Look at that, man. Man, I thought this would go up to the 195s at least. The 195s right there. We'll see what happens right here. 183, 183, 183, 188. I'm going to have to get out of this too. Oh man, I, I'm taking these garbage trades, man. Garbage, garbage trades. Flatten. Flatten, flatten, flatten. 181, 181. 181, come on. Let's go, man. Let's see what happens here. We'll see what happens. Stock hedge, I didn't mess with the big boys. I didn't mess with the big boys. Look at MYOS is coming back up a little bit. A-T-H-E, I thought was coming up also. This thing looks like it's just coming down. I'm not going to add to my position, I don't think, down at 167. One, it has a pivot point by the 164s. I thought it would buy the dip and sell the rip right here. 83. 83. 83, 83, what is happening? Let's go, man, let's go. So, 83, 83, 85, okay, here we go. <laughs> 85 okay let's go man get up there get up there i i thought it would go to 193 but who knows what's gonna happen who knows let's go man 183 I i'm looking for this to go up over two dollars right here i'm just not confident in myself right now after it came down so hard did such a hard yank on me i thought it had room up to the two dollars here we go keep going Keep going. I'm just making sure I'm green on the day. This is what, you see what I'm doing right here? This cannot be happening. This can't be happening because I want to be green on the day so bad, I'm taking a small winner. When I know this has room up to the dollar ninety three, dollar ninety four, and that's where I should be taking my first profit is right by the dollar ninety three, dollar ninety four, and then hold some more up over the two dollars right there. But because I want to be green so bad, I'm just let I'm letting it. Uh, I'm just taking a small winner, and that is not how you can trade the stock market. Not how you can trade right there. 193, 193, 189. 190 has a huge seller at 190. Is it going to get over the 190s? 183s, 183s. Let's go. 1G on MYOS here. Good job, man. Did you see that? 190 has heavy, heavy resistance. Heavy, heavy resistance at 190. We'll see if it gets through the 190s or not. We'll see if it gets through there.
Oh, I got stopped out anyway. I want to see if it gets through the 190s right there. So there we go. 67.48. I am green on the day now. I am green on the day now, man. I turned green on the day. And I had took a pretty... Uh, I turned green on the day. But I'm basically break even on the day. Now I can get back to business and get my show on the road. Get my show on the road. Monkey, monkey, just concentrate on two or three stocks. You should stop jumping around all over the place. Well, I, I do keep my eye on two or three stocks, but I know where my entries are, what I'm looking for on my entries. That's why in ATHE, you see how this ran up in the pre-market that day, and then it ran up this day. This is still a tight consolidation period. When they stretch out for three or four or five days, that's when I stop looking at them. But ATHE still has potential to go up right there. Look at it, it went over that high right there. I think this could go up to $2, but I'm just not being confident in myself right there. No confidence. Shop approaching 1,000 still in from 757. 750. Good job. Good job trading, guys. I took some beautiful, great trades on MYOS today. Two beautiful trades, and then I took a, a garbage trade for that push. That's one thing I've been trying to learn to do is to stop out. But did you see I had took 50 shares? I thought maybe, okay, I'll add to my position. But if it's a breakout trade and it does not break out on me, I need to stop out. I don't want to look for an ad on that position. I'm actually writing that in my notes today. I'm going to update that because sometimes on those breakout trades, I would add to my position down back at the support and then get a good average right in the middle of that consolidation spot. And then I would look to get out for break even. But from now on, on a breakout trade, if it does not break out, I'm not going to give it more than 10, 15. It depends on which stock, but more than about 10 cents. 10 cents risk on that thing. I'm going to have to do that. GDT, whoa, look at all those check marks. I hope you're having a good one. Yes, GDT, I was taking some beautiful trades, but you know one of my main problems probably also, I over trade the stock market. And today, what I tried to do on ATHE, I took a trade. I wasn't even looking for a winner. I was looking for to turn my day back green. I even with a small winner. So I didn't even let this trade work out for me. I didn't even let the trade work out for me. You cannot trade like that. Here it goes. Here we go. 190. So there's my profit target right there. Boom. A-T-H-E. Look at that. That That's what I cannot keep doing. I took a great trade in this stock, but I sold my profit. Look at that. That's what I was waiting for. Good job for it, whoever hold that. GDT, how did you do today? Anybody that knows GDT? Uh, you guys know I, I consider him a good short seller. He's green most days on the stock market, day trading the stock market, short selling, and GDT. I just go through this little spill because I'm a big fan of GDT. Anyway, he uses uh, uh, Intensity Stock Watch Scanner. He lives and dies by that thing, man. <laughs> that thing must be something awesome, man. That thing must be something awesome. And one other thing I always say along GDT, but this has nothing to do with GDT. Patrick Wheeland also uh, uses a scanner, which is that trade idea scanner. So I, I'm not promoting none of this. I'm just saying this out loud in my head. I'm just saying that stuff, man. GDT, good job, man. What What is going on, man? How did you do today in the stock market? Give us the news. Give us the news. Good one, monkey. Boom. I use trade ideas. Yeah, trade ideas. That's the one Patrick Wheeland uses also. So Patrick Wheeland has a link for that one. I believe GDT has a link for the Intensity Stock Watch. Actually, I know for sure he has a link to the Intensity Stock Watch scanner. So boom. Love trade idea scanner. GDT, uh, look at the devil horns. Adelie says the devil horns up there. <laughs> Adelie, you're crazy, man. You are crazy, Adelie. GDT, give us the news. Come on, man. Do we have to watch your video? I, I'm going to watch it anyway, but uh, I'm going to watch it anyway. But GDT probably took a short sell. What did he take a short sell on? Can I guess? Was it Roku? Was it Roku today again? Uh, Roku's been really moving around recently. Let's go look at that one. Let's go look at this one. Roku. Whoa, look at that. 
Look at this. So it it went up. There was a. I guess you could have tried one right. What is going on on this thing? One year, one day. Roku. Roku. One twenty one. One twenty two. One twenty two. What is going on? Bum bum bum. Needs a man. This could be a good short sell at some point today. Uh, GDT been killing Roku today monkey you have told your pre-market and you just now pull it up because GDT said stock hedgehog no I always pull stuff up look at ATHE man look at ATHE sorry stock hedgehog I'm gonna start pulling up some of these stocks you call out you call out so many great stocks I do try to read your stocks in the chat I really do try to read your stocks in the chat Look at that. That was my trade. This was my trade. Hopefully you guys took that. Hopefully you guys got that. That was a beautiful, nice, good. Great job on R-O-K-U. Ah, sorry, Hedgy. <laughs> I love GDT. Just say, stock hedgehog. I'm sorry. I apologize. You know how I get down, man. You know how I roll. You know how I move. I'm not here to try to do anything except make money in the stock market. That's exactly why I'm here. I have no other motives except for that, man. <laughs> That's it. No, GDT, I'm just saying. I just told him pre-market. Yeah, Stock Hedgehog said uh, in the pre-market. GD or Stock Hedgehog, good job. GDT, good job. Good job, many of you guys around here. If Monkey didn't share his time concerned with... Thank you, Roland B. Thank you uh, thank you for finding a little bit of value in this live stream. Thank you for finding value in this live stream, Roland B. Thank you, man. Roland B donated to the channel. Thank you. Every single dollar that comes into this live stream stays with this live stream. Thank you, Roland B. That really means a lot. Uh, every time you guys donate, it really pumps me up. It pumps my heart up. It makes me feel better. The, every time you guys hit the like button, every time you guys show up each and every day, I'm very proud of each and every one of you. I'm very, very proud of each and every one of you. You too, GDT. Stock Hedgehog, you know you have a great look at the market also. You know you have a uh, look. MYOS is on fire. I got to get back over to MYOS. Look at this thing, man. MYOS, look at this. Is it going to break out this time above this 348s? It's going to get up to the 373s. The breakout spot is right above the 349s up there. Right above the 349. So you need to pump your account regardless of who is here. Yes, Trading Monkey. I mean, yes, Stock Hedgehog, exactly. Look at this. Look at this stock. Look at this, man. How far can MYOS move a minute? Let's look at that first. 315. 30 cents a minute right here. 30 cents a minute. 30 cents a minute. So over the 350. 30 cents a minute, where's it going to go to? The 380s, man, the 380s. Is that, is that true? Is that really true? 315, 315, 25, 35, 40. Yeah, 30 cents a minute. ATHE, if you guys are still in that, uh, uh, my ultimate profit target on ATHE was actually 214 right there. Boom. Light speed is good. Das, yeah, what are the yellow price points? Those are just my daily support resistance lines. The yellow solid lines are my daily support resistance line. ATHE could have been my home run for the day. MYOS also could have been my home run. I'm going to just take small share size. I may go red on the day. Up over this 250 or 350, 349, I'm going to take it up over 350. Maybe I should wait for a micro pullback up over the 350s. That could be good, but I think I'm just going to take this. 343, 344. What, what's this right here? The high, 351. 351 is the high. So I'm going to need this to break over the 350s if it can break over. I'm guessing you use Speed Trader for quick day trading. I, I use I use Thinkorswim for day trading. ATHE, look at that thing still going up. The only reason I'm on MYOS and not ATHE is because I don't see no more trades on ATHE right now. But I do see one coming up on MYOS right over this 350 up into the 380s right there. 380s, 350s, 380s. Sometimes I do take this trade off of support at the 325s and use a tight, tight risk of the 320s, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait for this breakout. Wait, wait for this breakout. MYOS was a grand slam. Mike Cam, good job, man. Yes. But look, look, look at... Uh, 
Look at ATHE right here. Look at this. Look at this trade, man. Look how beautiful and nice that was. Now, now it's right up to that support resistance at the 220s. If this thing can just keep a little support right there, there could be another trade on there. Man, Tesla, you're welcome. Thanks, man. I'm going to check it out. Yes, TOS for swings and slow movers. Yes, I'm going to CMEG. I'll be over on CMEG very, very shortly. Very, very shortly. Would it be safe to say you are trained like Ross Cameron today as per your posted video? <laughs> yes, Carl Dozier. Yes, absolutely, man. I do trade a lot like Ross Cameron from Warrior Trading. He's a great trader. I, 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 can, I think he's a great trader. He's a great trader. He makes money. He does what he does, and he does it good. He does it good, man. How can you hate that? How can you hate that? That There should be no hate, but the monkey army is the true journey. The real deal journey of any beginner trader out there. I say I'm the real deal journey of how you can make money day trading low flow small cap stocks. The real deal trading. And we are the number one day trading channel on YouTube. Don't tell GDT this. He might not say that. But anyways, we are the number one day trading channel on YouTube. Self-proclaimed, of course. We got the trophy to show for it. Boom. Hold it up high. Hold it up proud. Hold it up loud. The number one day trading channel on YouTube. Self-proclaimed. Self-proclaimed, of course. There we go. You are number one. Thank you, GDT. <laughs> GDT even agrees. Thanks, man. That means a lot, man. If you ever hear of anybody else out there trying to uh, speak it out loud, you know the truth. You guys know the truth. There goes MYOS coming back up. So from the 320s, this thing can move 30 cents a minute. So if it came up and busted over the 352 on this one run right here, I would not take that because it'd probably be a fake out breakout on me. But get that money. Monkey Army, bad, bad, uh, bad gamer gaming. Good to see you, man. Monkey is great. John Wilson, thank you guys for being here, man. Get that money. Hey, Monkey, can you explain the account balance numbers at the top? Yes, that 3000 my account started with $450 in it. I save $5 each and every day, saving $5 each and every day. I got my account up to $3,300, and the number right beside that is my current account balance, how much I've grown it through day trading the stock market. I haven't really grown it too much. I was up like $500 on this account but then I tried to up my share size with on a cash account. I need to be able to trade about 14, it adds up to about 14 day trades I take a trade. So 28 tickets a day. So that's what I'm averaging and that's what I'm gonna try to keep it at on CMEG, about 28 to 30 tickets a day. So you know how much money that's gonna be. That's gonna be each day I gotta make over that. Over that, I told Ross if he wanted to learn how to cash trade, he should join the army, my cam. <laughs> Thanks, man. That means a lot. Look at ATHE, man. That thing is just a freaking monster. Look at that. That 210 all the way up. Can you believe we were in way down here right on the spot? And I sold right there plus six cents. Plus six freaking cents because I did not want to lose. I wanted to just... That, that's the difference between a trader that's going to make some money and a trader that isn't going to make uh, some money. You can't trade like that. You have to trade every trade as is it going to be a winner or a loser, not mediocre. You can't stand right in the middle of the train tracks and think you're not going to get hit by the train. Oh, man, I should have known that, man. The way you do anything is the way you do everything. That's what you live by. That's how you get down. That's the struggle. The struggle, man. The struggle, struggle, struggle. I got to get it. Let's talk and more trade. You're missing on VXRT. 28 times 4 equals ECN fees. Yes, 8 months. Can someone tell me the platform is going, going to CMEG? Melissa, you guys will see it live and in action right there. Live and in action. Why is one of my trades missing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The 6th trade was green. 6th trade was green. I believe the 6th trade was green. I don't know now. Uh, L L I G N C. I I gotta look at V X R T real quick. Let's look at that one. V X R T. 
VXRT. Where is my VXRT? I swore I had that out there. So I'm going back over to MYOS. Where would I take a trade on ATHE? It looks like it may. It, I don't know, actually. I didn't think it would get up this high. Where is your next entry on QLGN? <laughs> QLGN. Look what it's doing right there. It's trying to build support. I would need that back above the five the 560s, 57s. If it got back above the 550s, I think I would start looking for a trade on QLG. And there it goes, MYOS. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. So from there, 316. It is getting a little stretched out. 316, 320. So 350, it, it may do a fake out breakout. If it could rest right here a little bit before it goes up. Here we go. So the high a day break is up over the 351. Okay, here it is. It's resting a little bit. Is there any profit takers right there? 350s. I'm going to take it up over the 350s. Up 1200. Look at POLA might bounce. My entry my entry was 321. Good job, man. Good good job, Stock Hedgehog. Stock Hedgehog has a great look at the market. Really a great great look whoa 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 look at that the buyers really pushed that up right there 345 351 i'm gonna try to get the 350s right there it looks like a lot of buyers just came in athe is still pushing here we go 350s i'm just taking very small share size because i'm not real confident in this trade but i think it could get to the 380s 373s at the least 373s here we go 350s 350s come on man this thing is moving like a freight train a uh, freight 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 train 350s here we go bump oh my gosh i got 359 <laughs> i got 359 man 359 359 369 359 369 man i can't believe that phil i i should have hit it a little bit sooner right there come on you can make it 361 has room all the way up to the 373s up there so we'll see if it makes it 359 if it comes back down to the 340s i will add to my position 350 340s 350s 340s it, it it could just be sitting right up here man i can't believe i got filled at 359 what a horrible fill man 359 let's go let's go i should have jumped in before the high a day break before the freaking high a day break 362 355 come on come on man there it is bump Okay, I'm in at 354 now. 354 is my entry. 354, here we go. 354, 362. Boom, 354, 362. Let's go, let's go. Maybe it's just going to come down because it looks like it's pushing right here. It may have to rest a little bit. Some profit takers, look at that volume. It did the same thing back here, and it just ended up coming down. 354, 342. Man, this one might have got me again. 352, 342. Let's go. Let's go. 354, 362. 362. Let's go, man. Let's go. Uh, boot riding MYOS times 2, 259. Let's go. 259. Look at this thing, man. This thing is going down, down, down. So I'm going to have to do my last add on this thing. It needs to hold right here. 334. 334. ATHE came down a little bit right there. ATHE. Man, I should have anticipated the break. But sometimes when I anticipate the break, it just doesn't happen. If I could have got 350, 348, I should have took it right there. Right over that. But oh well. Oh, well, we'll see. Holding the loser still. Well, I, I'm adding to my, I'm adding to a winner. I'm adding to a winner. It has support right here, 332. Boom. There we go. 342, 342, 343, 343. Here we go. 343. Let's go, let's go, man. Let's go. 343. 
Let's see what happens. I guarantee Monkey will be a millionaire short seller on CMake. Every stock he buys drops. <laughs> yes. I was green on the day, but I wanted to take a stab on this thing. It has a lot of resistance here by the 339s. Look at ATHE. It's going up, up, and up. Up, up, and up. Yes. Every stock I buy goes down, man. Every stock I buy. So there we go. 342, 332. 329 come on man get going get going get going 339 342 oh man look at this thing come on here we go, man. Let's do this. MYOS is so strong right here. So, so strong. Boom, boom, boom. 299, 299. Let's go. Let's see what happens here. Forty-four, three forty-four. Let's go, let's go, ma'am. QLG Ed in pre-market six thirty-three. Yeah, six thirty-three. QLG Ed. Yeah, I took it. Oh man, I should have just got. My rules are I'm supposed to get out if it comes down below my stop, but I held on again right there. Twenty shares. Bum bum bum. This could be my winner. Could be my winner right here. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's see what happens. 342. 337. 337. Man, a lot of, a lot of downward pressure right there. A lot of downward pressure. 337. Three thirty seven, three thirty seven. Three thirty seven. Come on, let's go. Let's see what happens here. Tesla nonstop. So, anyways, QLGN up above the five uh, fifties right now. QLGN is up above the five fifties. Here you go, QLGN. Boom, boom, boom. If it can get above this 578 right there, above that 578, it may be looking good. Above the 578s up there. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. I didn't press the buy button, man. I did not press the freaking buy button. I should have pressed the buy. It has resistance up towards the 590s right here, though, so we'll have to see what happens. Let's go. Look, look at this, man. Monkey, you're sweating. Yes, I'm sweating a little bit, but I still have faith that it's going up to 390s up there. If it can get up to 390s, MYOS. 338. What the heck, man? Man, I could not... Look at this, QLGN is going up, up, and up, 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 and up. Look at that, QLGN is moving. Man, I totally messed this up. Look at that, coming all the way down. I should, I, I meant to get out for some of my shares right there at 337, 337, so we'll see what happens. Look at this, if this comes down, extend to the right. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Uh, let, let's go over to QLGN. See what's happening. QLGN. 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 Look at this thing, man. I just want to take a few shares on this. Remember to trade your own plan and plan your own trade. We're going to see what happens around this joint. M Y O M Y uh M Y O S. Let's go back over there. M Y O S. Boom, boom, boom. Q L G N is looking good. It's right above my daily support resistance line. The only problem is it has resistance up towards the six dollars, the five ninety eight. But there could be a little bit of money right there. There could be a little money. 
Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go, man. We got this. I'm still green on the week regardless. A-T-H-E coming all the way back down now. A-T-H-E. Look at that one. It went up as high as it could go. Look at that. It did, It got... Oh, my gosh. It's doing exactly what M-Y-O-S is doing. Exactly what M-Y-O-S is doing, actually. So Q-L-G-N... Come on, come on, man. Let's go. Let's see what happens here. This one could go either way. Either I'm going to lose a little bit of money or not. It needs to, if this thing can get through, this thing has heavy resistance at the 340s. So this would be my breakout trade. If the, this is kind of a pivot point break, if it got above the 340s, that would be my entry right there, actually. But I don't want to say that out loud because I'm kind of stuck in a trade right here. And I don't want you guys to buy if it does go up there because then it's just I'll be selling right there. QLGN, QLGN. QLGN is pushing right now. I, I want to go watch that one really quickly. We're, we're going to go watch it. QLGN. QLGN's doing the move. Is it going to make it right on over that? Five ninety six. I'm in at five ninety six. There, looking for the push through six. The push through six. Five ninety six. Push through six. Boom, boom, boom. Five ninety six. Push through six. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. I I made a little bit of money right there. I made a little just for that little push through six dollars right there. But would I have stopped out? I, if I could sell half of my shares real quick, I would right there, but I didn't. M-Y-O-S, look at this thing, still pushing up right there, still pushing up. Natural Light or LPA, I was looking for that push right there. Okay, here we go, M-Y-O-S is getting down to my spot. Boom, 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 right there. 311, 311, 311, we'll see what happens. Three eleven, three eleven. 311 so QLGN is making a move so if I were you I would be looking at QLGN I don't know what MYOS is doing right here we'll have to see 20 40 50 40 52 52 49 48 look at QLGN your stop loss Take your stop loss out, man. We'll have to see. I I need a stop loss. This could do a drop, fake, and pop. Boom, down there, 320. And then I'm going to have to get out for a break-even trade if it ends up coming down right there. If it comes down to $3, I'm going to have to buy at $3. And then I'll have a 320 average. <clears throat> and then 320, I will sell at 318, 315 for minus five cents. It's going to be about minus five dollars. It could get down into the ten dollar range if it ends up coming down to the 290s. 290. So what we'll, we'll see, we'll see how it reacts. The pattern is still good. Mike M talking about Milwaukee's best, aka Beast Light. Look at I, I I'm gonna go look at uh uh, QLGN, see what's happening. <clears throat> Here we go, right? Uh, here's another support, but it did get up to the resistance. If this thing pushes through the 603, is that going to be a good trade right there? Would that be a good trade? I cannot believe MYOS. I turned a scalp trade into a more of a consistent move trade. 603. 603 right there ipwr halted again on another oh i haven't been looking over on there look at there's ipwr right here Let, let's go man i'm gonna put this up ipwr ipwr let's go put this one up here good job i've traded this one in the past this one is very sketchy and very scary the first thing i notice on ipwr right there 
is it's going up towards the uh, look at on the volume I noticed the volume is only the daily average volume is a hundred and twenty thousand right there so we'll have to see it one year one day it went up I power 676 a daily breakout level basically so it did a daily breakout but it went super far okay so here we go um boom, boom, boom. 635 630s so we'll see two times average vol yeah two times average volume but this sort of volume on a stock like this is just it's kind of just not yeah, I don't add this up the same, but we'll, we'll see when this comes out of the halt. 47, 48, 49, 51, 52, 52, almost at, uh, at uh, 1053, at 1053, it could uh, come out. So I'm keeping MYOS. Let's go look at this one. MYOS right there. I'm turning this one into a break even trade right here. I should have never held on. I should probably just have got out right here at 338 for minus three cents right there. But I'm still counting on this to go up. If this thing breaks down right here, it's all over. You know what I mean? Why would I buy down at three dollars? This is just where people will cover at is down there at three dollars. So that's why I would add down at three dollars to basically cover at three fifteen. So with eighty shares at three fifteen, that's basically gonna be what would my average be? Five cents. So five dollars, losing five bucks right there. No matter how I look at it, I'm basically losing five dollars. So let, let's see what's going on. Three forties, three thirties, three five. Here it goes down. Here we go. Here we go down. Down, down, down. 321, 322, 1015, next target, IPWR. There's going to be such a beautiful short sell. Stock Hedgehog, I don't know if you agree with that, but on IPWR, this one's going to be a great short sell. Look at that. $10, I would short sell right there. I would start short selling at $10. Yeah, there's nothing going on. This is just a short sell in the making right here. Look at that. That This is going to be such... Look how much money. Can you borrow on this one? If, the, if there were shares to borrow on CMEG on this, I would definitely get some shares. Let's go on, 47. So where am I going to short sell it at? Right at $10 would be my first shot. As soon as it comes out of the halt... I would basically try right by the uh, 950, 960 would be my first short sell. If I was going to take a long trade, I'm just not going to take a long trade on this stock. It's just too much right here. Boom. You don't see the 200 simple moving average, yes. But the, I mean just for the short term easy money. Guaranteed easy money. Look at this day. Right where it's sitting at is a great short sell. Right where it's sitting at, $9.00. The sooner I could get in after the halt would be the better. The sooner, the better right there. The sooner, the freaking better. Let's go. Let's get this show on the road, man. Let's see what happens. Let's see. So this comes out of the halt, 47. Uh, here it comes out of the halt. I'm going to take a paper trade short. Ah, oh, it didn't even give me a chance yet. Let's go. Here it goes. 880s, 850, I'll short sell at 850. First, first short sell is 858. Maybe you're taking a long trade. Don't let me influence you. You guys know I take a lot of losing trades. 850, I'm short selling. 850, 850, I'm going to add into the $10. My next add will be right around 910, 920. Nine, or actually, it will be about 920 is my next short sell. I mean, my next add, 850s. 850s here we go 830s i think it's going to come down to the 750s this is just a daily breakout probably even back down to the seven dollars probably back down to the seven dollars too boom let's go let's go man maybe it's going to catch its feet this is the only place it could bounce you could take a long trade at the 830s and then try to sell into the nine dollars right there but if it doesn't hold this, it's probably going to drop like a rock right there. Just like MYOS is. <laughs> Just like MYOS.
Let's go. Uh, I like when he goes boom, boom, boom on one to ten cent wins. Yes, and then I hold losers for so long. I was supposed to get out as soon. Where I bought, I bought right at the top. But after a while, I start turning this into a break-even trade. So on CMAG, I would still be trying to turn this into a break-even trade. Boom, boom, boom. Three dollars, three dollars. Three dollars. So I have three, I have a 323 average, a 323 average, 50. 323 average right now so we'll see what happens i'm still watching ipwr out of the halt right there out of the halt 81624 i may have to do one more ad worst case scenario one more ad on this down by the 280s down by the 280s will be my last and final ad and then i shouldn't be doing this but i am anyway here we go here we go come on Two ninety nine, two ninety nine, three dollars. Man, I'm turning this into. Why am I adding into this just to get out for a break even trade? I need to change my rules right here. I can't add at the two nineties. That's too close. That's too close to my thing. Two nineties. I should have probably waited for the two nineties down there. There's IPWR. So I took a short sell at eight at the eight fifties. I'm covering at eight dollars and calling it a day right there. The eight fifties. Three twenty three, three ten. Three thirteen. 314. Why? Because you do it every single day, even though us experience tell you, I know, man. Look at IPWR. I, I just know uh, from uh, how much volume this has on it that I'm probably going to get out for break even. Where am I going to get out for break even? Either at 323 or worst case scenario, if it comes down to 270s, I'll get out for 310. It's either going to be the 323s or the 310s. One of those two spots. Look at that. Came all the way back down from the 850 straight back down. You could have tried a long trade, but that would have been a very, very sketchy long trade right there. Actually, you guys are right. I need to get out of this. I need to get on out of this thing. Alex Monkey, yes, I know, man. I We'll, we'll see how it goes. I, I think it has room up to the 330s up here, 325. So we'll, we'll have to see what happens. 323, 325, 325, and then I'll hold on right there. Boom. Hold and hope. I'm not holding and hoping. This is right on the support level. This is just a classic short sell uh, cover where the shorts are going to cover. They're definitely, or are they just going to keep adding into their position right here? Look at the volume on this stock. A million shares traded. This thing can't just keep going straight on down, man. This thing cannot, or maybe it can. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this, man. Look at this coming, trying to come down. I I, I pretty much have a lot of, 90% of the time, I'm going to get out for a uh, break even at least. And I wasn't willing to take that right there when I got a 359, uh, or yeah, 359, uh, enter entry right there i just did not want to accept that so i added to my position down here and then i just that's what i did ma'am if, if it's above zero it can go down yeah if it's above zero it can go down that's what's so good about short sales be oh carv is moving and wkhs carv is moving right now carv is moving above the 750s it already pushed over and now it's getting up above there so carv and wkhs doing the same move they they're both uh this one just did a red to green move right here just did a red to green move right right there look at that right there ma'am 
Right, monkey, was this your plan? Keep no, it's not. It's not my plan. It's. I mean, it kind of was my plan to go down into the two nineties, or that. That's the plan I made up after the fact. I was really hoping it was going to hold at the three twenties. If it didn't hold at the three twenties, I was going to add at three dollars and try to get a three twenty average and then get out for break even. If it, if it breaks below that low right there, that consolidation low, I'll have to get out. And it's going to be a pretty big loser. I, I was green on the, I my last three days were green, but that's the difference. If you're going to have green days and then one huge red day, it's just not worth it. I should have stopped out a long time ago, but now I find myself in this predicament. Finding myself in this predicament, I have to deal with my consequences and dealing with my consequences is telling me that why am I going to stop out here? I can add all the way to zero and I'll just be just fine, man. I'll have probably about a $2 average <laughs> of a $2 average. Look at this man going up, up and up. So it does have some support right here by the $8 that I guess it already went up from the $8. We'll see. It's a good plan if you just have patience. Should DBL your share size now? No, I'm not going to double my share size now. It's just, that's too close to my last ad spot. My last ad. Usually a stock is going to come up and uh, the short sellers are going to just take their profit. They're going to move on about their day. It will climb up a little bit, especially on a stock like MYOS that has a two-day move already in it. It did go down one day. Look at MYOS. It did It did come down though. Let, let me see this. MYOS. MYOS right here. It did come down that one day. It did a pretty steep pullback but found its feet right there. So $3. We'll see what happens up here. Hopefully it can get going. 304, 305. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. So so this would have been I could what I should have done if I was on C Meg, seriously, if I was on C Meg, I should have stopped out. I should have did a new position right here at the three twenties, and then I would have sold that actually I would have took it at the three thirty, so that would have been a loser too. And then I would have took it one more time at the two nineties, trying to catch that falling knife on the backside, but this could be the very, very backside. If if it doesn't get through this, I'm going to be in very big problem. It needs to come through the three tens right here, the three tens, and we'll see. But hopefully, hopefully it doesn't get down below this right here. That that's the bottom right there, and it keeps going up, it keeps going up. Dislike squad until he learns. <laughs> I, I'm learning. I'm, you're right. I do need. I do need. Uh oh. Here we go. 316. 316. 316. Look at this coming up. Dislike squad. 316. Boom, boom, boom. So I got out for some of my shares at minus at minus 10 cents right there. I got rid of some of my shares at minus 10 cents. I should have stayed in this thing till break even, but I just didn't want to do that. 323, let's go. 323, 323, here we go. 318, 319. 315 so I so I got out basically for minus 10 cents which is what I was looking for but here we go 323 333 333 320 I got out a couple more shares right there at 320 I'm trying to just piece out. I know this is a losing trade because I don't know if it's going to go all the way up, but it did finally, the shorts finally covered down there and, and that's what happened. 320, 320, 320. Here we go. He's going to sell. Or, no, I I know I, this is a break. This is never going to be a winning trade. It could, maybe it would be a small winner, but this trade was never going to be a, a winning trade right here. 
Man, I should have got out all my shares right there, to tell you the truth. I should have got out all of them right there. We'll, we'll see. 318. 318. 323. Now, now I'm holding 20 shares into a longer position. 323. 315, 316. Minus 7 cents on 10 more of my shares right here. Minus 10 cents. Or minus 8 cents. Actually, it's minus 8 cents right there on some more of my shares. I'm just, I was just trying to take a small loser on this. A and sure, I could have just got out right here at 359. I could have got out at 349 for minus four dollars. You know what I mean? But it happened so fast that I just didn't accept it in that time frame. But I should I should have got out. So I extended this loser down to uh, basically a bigger loser than it had to be. It could have been a four dollar loser, but I still got out for minus ten cents right there. And to me, that's okay. To me, that's okay. So I'll let my last share ride and down to two ninety nine, and that would be twenty three cents on my last share. So two ninety nine would be my last one. What kind of ugly chart is that, Sun W? So anyways, that's how I trade. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I add into a loser. I shouldn't add into a loser like that. And I'm definitely going to learn my lesson. I need to learn my lesson, but sometimes I get stubborn. And when I get stubborn, I know I'm probably going to get out for basically about break even. It did get up to the 320s. It got very close to my stop. If it gets up over this 323, it's probably going to go at least retest high a day, maybe. Maybe the 340s right there. It's a climber. Look at it. The only reason I was comfortable adding into a stock like MYOS is the volume. Look at the volume today. The volume tells you that, it, of course, it's going gonna, it's gonna to catch its feet a little bit. It's probably not going to come all the way back up to my average, but it's at least going to get close enough where I'll be comfortable with it. That's why that's why I didn't sell right here when I was down right there and I did not sell down here because it was right off support. So one of those spots is going to bounce a little bit. Scalping carb. Yes, C A R V is going up. W K H S did a beautiful pullback. I'm definitely going to be looking for some money here in a little bit. I'm trying to see if MYOS, if this thing gets through the 320s, it could get back up to the 350s up there, and that will be nice. That will be very, very nice. MYOS got 28 cents. I still like around the VWAP. We'll see. Yes, that that's a good little trade right there. I do have my daily support at 293. And then definitely this has still got good volume on it. Still got good volume. Sure, it's not the best to add into something like that. A-T-H-E, A-T-H-E also, look at this. A-T-H-E is going up. It's right by some resistance up there also, though. A-T-H-E. I'm going to take another trade since I still have settled cash. I'm going to try to turn my red day green now and see how that works out. Uh, MYOS uh, was a bad trade all around. That was just a bad garbage trade. Sure, I shouldn't have added to a loser, but sometimes when I get caught like that, not stopping out fast enough, I was very disappointed where I got filled at and I thought maybe it would go up. I should have just sold out of that directly at, at 49. At 349 should have been my stop right there. 10 years and still learning. Yes. 10 years and still learning, man. 270, next location for MYOS. Yes, 270, definitely next location. If it busts back under that $3, it's probably going to go all the way back down, like Paul DeBald said. So that's what I'm basically trying. There's the $3 right now, actually. So the low of that candle, $3, $2.99. 
299 I'm, I'm i'm putting my stop at 299 right there we'll see where i get filled there here it comes boom right there so i lost seven dollars basically to me that was an okay trade not the worst not the best but i should never be adding yrcw here we go yrcw is coming up up and up uh extend to the right then to the right over that 350s could be good over the 350s wkhs hopefully you guys are looking at that one that one's a little bit more expensive though but look at this wkhs all the way up and all the way to the moon it broke a pivot point yes there's a lot of pivot points so anyways i ended up losing about nine bucks today eight nine dollars i'm still green on the week I'm still definitely green on the week. I had a $9 basically yesterday and today. Now I'm break even on yesterday's trades. So to me, I'm still trading good, but I, I kind of sized into MYOS when I should have never, never did that. Never, never freaking did that. MYOS, man. And another thing I should have realized, I thought maybe it would get up to the 325s though. The 325s right there, but it did not do it. YRCW, YRCW. So let, let me plan out a trade. Look, look at this right here. Look at this. It made a low. It made a higher low right there. And now it's starting to try to push up right there. QLGN. QLGN. This, this happens sometimes. Sometimes I overtrade. Sometimes I add into losers too much. And that's all fine and dandy. Yesterday, you'll never believe what I, I changed every single break on our car. Every single break. And I changed the, uh, what is that called? The, uh, the break where the reservoir is, right below the reservoir. The uh, Man, I can never remember what that thing is called, man. What is that thing called? The brake, the brake. I don't work on cars uh, often, but sometimes I do. It was the brake. You guys know, not the manifold, the brake, uh, the brake something, man. You guys probably know what it is. I changed all the brakes and all that. I did that. I thought it was going to be like a two hour project. It turned it into a four hour. Trying to, oh, master cylinder. You guys, there it is right there. Master cylinder. It only has two bolts to release the master cylinder. But the two bolts I had to release it were super difficult to get to. And I, and I didn't have like the right, correct, correct wrench. So I had to use this other one because you can't use a, this one. But anyways, look at this YRCW going up, up, and up. And, and then you got to take off the brake lines. Take off the brake lines. Then I put the uh, master cylinder in a vise. And then I press on that thing. I press that big thing. Boom. And you push out the juice. You push out the juice so you can prime it basically. And I had to do all that put it back on and the brakes were tight i i thought the brakes were going bad that's why i switched all the brake pads and then i found out it wasn't the brake pads at all it was the master cylinder which my brakes were going to the floor all the way to the floor on that thing monkey miss sun w i i missed a lot of stocks today a lot a lot of oh there's sun w you're right i did miss sun w look at that thing then W, what, what is the news on this? I just don't know. MYOS is coming back up to the 308s. It still could make a total rebound right there. MYOS, nothing, nothing, nothing. MYOS. Let's go. Must have used a YouTube. Yes, I did. Thoughts on paper. I've never, I've never changed a master cylinder before, believe it or not. And that's something common that kind of goes out. I've never done a master cylinder before, but it wasn't as hard as I thought. I went and bought the part. It was like 80 bucks for the master cylinder. Cheaper than taking it down to a shop. A, a shop would probably charge you 300 bucks or something. It only costed me about $98 in my time, but my time's worth more than that. So it, maybe it would have been better just to take it into a shop. But ask anybody on here about how they have made money on my calls, Adelie. I never see you call any setups, Adelie. I, I, oh man, Adelie's getting into it again, man. <laughs> Ad, Stock Hedgehog. Adelie can get into it with the best of them, man. Adelie, 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 Adelie. <laughs> Ad man, Adley. 
I'm done with you. Stock Hedgehog is done with, <laughs> with you. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. Maxed out my TOS, so moving over to Forex now, Steve. A colas, what, wherever you trade, that's fine. That is great. Moving over to Forex. I cannot wait. My CMEG account, I believe, is getting very close. Actually, let me check my email real quick. I'm going to check my email, see if they answered me. See if I got anything real quick Why I'm looking for stocks to move. Uh, Gmail. Gmail. Okay, sorry. I just want to check this out and see what's going on right here. Gmail. Here we go. Sun W, man. This thing is moving. Moving, moving, moving. What is going on? WKHS doing a huge pullback? Nope. Never got no email from them yet. Nothing yet. But they'll answer me. They're going to answer me back very soon. Peeps look tired of MYOS. Yes, that thing's wearing out. Look at WKHS, though. It's looking like a good trade for me. WKHS. Oh, man. WKHS. Boom, boom, boom. $16. CMEG has not responded over a week. They are all seeing many new applications. Same with Lightspeed. Broken Sky Blue. Yes, I talked to them yesterday on the phone and they told me exactly what I needed to do. So right after the live stream, I put in all the correct stuff I needed to put in there. And now my application is being uh, looked at again or it's being processed again, the application. So I can't wait for that. I cannot wait for that right there. When CMEG goes through, you guys are going to see a crazy trader. You guys are going to see me making hundreds of dollars a day. Hundreds of dollars a day. Light speed. M-Y-O-S. Fall. Baby fall. Let me go look at that one. M-Y-O-S. It looks like it's getting tired out. Look at that thing. It does look like it's getting tired out. I, I'm looking for, I'm actively looking for a trade right now. I just cannot see nothing. Cannot see one trade out in the market. Sun W. Sun W. One minute, one year, one day. Sun W. Move drawing. 111 look at that thing came right up to the resistance right up to some resistance right at a 111 one right there 114 and the 200 look at the 200 right there came right up and tapped the 200 tapped it right to the money Adelie, I understand the only one showing proofs here is monkey yeah I get what you mean anyone can claim whatever in here Yes, and you guys can see I'm a profitable trader. I've been profitable all week long. I'm still profitable on the week. So overall, I am profitable. Look at MYOS, man. MYOS is moving. MYOS, man, I, I may take another trade on this now. Look at that. Look at this thing. I should have just held on to my full size, but I did not want to do that. But here we go. Here we go. Look, look what we're looking at right here. It has some resistance right here. The pivot point is 320. The pivot point above 320. I may take a trade on this. I'm going to look for a micro pullback over this 320, 325, 326, 326, 337, 340, 320, 320, 330. Look at that. As soon as it gets above this, Soon as it basically gets above this level right there, I'm gonna look at that. Edit properties. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's do this. I, I'm coming back in. I'm coming back in. I'm getting my money back now. I'm gonna get my money back, ma'am. Remove drawing. So we're, we're gonna see what happens on this thing. We'll see if Pug has enough falling for it and Ali, yeah, but no disrespect is needed. Big happy family of monkeys. <laughs> yes, Ayub job. Oh, look at that thing drop down like a rock. The short sellers jumped right on top of that, right at the resistance. They said, no way is it getting back above 320s. No way is it getting back up there. Man, I was th I was thinking above 320s. I'll look for a little pullback into the 320s if it gets up there. Look at that thing. Breakdown, man. 
Look at that, that pivot point. I guess you could have took a short sell because look, look at this. Look what signs this thing gave you. It went up, it made a higher high, it made a higher high, pulled back, made a lower high, so it was starting to get weak, and then it made another higher high, and it tried to push over the 360s, but also the pre-market high was at 373. So after it came down, this was the biggest pullback right here. So the 320s, was that a good spot to start a short sell? Was that a good spot? Possibly, possibly. You could have figured that out quite, quite easily. That was easy to figure out. I didn't figure it out until it was too late. But putting the pieces to the puzzle together right there, that was a clean puzzle right there. Clean, clean puzzle. What platforms allow shorts on penny stocks like MYOS? Preston, I think CMEG allows some short sales. You, you might have to pay for the borrow fees or something, but I think uh, CMEG has a lot of shorts available. Or Lightspeed, if you can afford Lightspeed, if you can get around the PDT rule, or maybe you only want to trade three times a week, P, uh, Speed Trader. I'm not sure what else would do it, but I'm I'm going with CMEG myself. I like Thinkorswim. I do love Thinkorswim. I was, I've been happy with Thinkorswim. But I'm getting ready to go over to CMEG. And thank you guys. Can someone please help a monkey brother out? Thoughts on QLGN getting back to six? Or am I going to be a stupid bag holder? Oh, man. Let's check it out, man. QLGN. Oh, no. Okay, look at this volume. Look at that volume, volume, volume. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. 750, 750. This one's going to be a tough, tough, tough one. Tough, tough, tough one. It, it is basically getting down to a support level right there. That $5. Look at that. 480s to $5. It may come down to the 479s. The force that man, this is if it's gonna bounce anywhere, I think it will bounce here. But who knows what will happen in the afternoon? A lot of these stocks come back in the afternoon. Let's look at the daily chart. Came right up to that resistance, that first resistance. So I I think it's gonna come back up myself. I really do think it's gonna come back up. I really do. But who who knows? Remember to trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Is it going to make it up to six? Is it going to make it? Is it going to make it? There's a lot of action going on right there. Look right here too. 342 and then sold 342. Somebody keeps just writing this down. Look at that, writing it down, covering, writing it down, writing it down, writing it down all the way. Who knows, somebody's been taking a lot of short sales on this thing. Premiums are jacked up these few weeks, yes. Trade, oh, trade to zero and using a charting software, brokers try to cheat you with lagging. Yes, brokers try to cheat you with lagging, man. M-Y-O-S. They're, they're storm traders. Good to see you, man. Uh, thanks, Monkey, for your look on QLGN. Yes, I, I, I mean, this is just a quick look. It's really hard to tell on something like this because uh, it's just so hard to see. So, so hard to see. Look at that. It keeps making that low way down at 376, but it, it has been trying to hold around the $5. So, $455. If it gets below that, how low is it going to go? I, I think, don't they have some kind of test? They have a test or something. Yeah, antibody test. So if they have a true blue antibody test or something, it looks like it should at least get back to $6. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We're going to see what happens right here. We will see. We will definitely, definitely see. So here we go. Um. The reason I got out of MYOS, look at that. So so all those short sellers, even though I added in and added in, look at this. That is definitely short sellers. Where are they going to cover at? As soon as they cover, that's where I try to get out of my position. As soon as they cover. And that's exactly what I did. I, I don't know about Q, Q, 
QLG and I'm just not sure hopefully it can bounce off the five dollars and start going back up hopefully it can monkey army babysitter grow up stocks are the game yes the monkey army strong just wait we are doing great great stuff around here we're standing up we're going to the top we're going parabolic we're going to the moon we're doing it we're doing it we're doing it doing it and along the way we're really soon as we are growing i'm i'm gonna be i'm a profitable trader right now but i'm gonna be making a lot more money where else in the world can you learn something maybe it takes you five years time but at the end of those five years if you could earn two thousand dollars a day would you do it yes and that's what we're doing right here every single day and now and now our youtube channel is growing i'm going to do some great things for many of you guys out there i'm going to do great great things and hopefully good money hopefully my good money will chase after good money good money is always good money man yeah didn't take hardly any these last few weeks didn't see the risk to reward that's the thing I need to figure out a little bit closer because I always have like a 40 cent stop max loss but I just I need to start tightening that up a little bit that's just a little bit too far or should I sell storm shares put an OPT ticker in chart format QLGN 505 I may Danny Lynch I'm gonna try it too uh, QLGN I'm trying I'm trying it I'm trying it right here 505 let's do it I, i'm only taking five shares just to be safe just to be safe here 505 505 let's do it ma'am let me uh go to five day five minute 505 who knows maybe it's coming down to 408 505 505 i'm gonna try to hold this all the way up to six dollars all the way up to six dollars or i'm gonna hold it down to the 480s it's going all the way to six or all the way down to 480s and i'll stop out down there we'll, we'll see what happens 480s or six dollars let's go let's go let's go geronimo <laughs> I'm in. I'm in with uh, this could be a home run trade right here. I, I like it down off support right here. We'll have to see what happens. Oh, there it goes down. I'm not adding to this position. I can tell you that right right now. I'm not going to add. Here we go, man. Let's go. I'm I'm going all the way to six dollars. All the way to six. I'm gonna make five dollars on the day. I might even hold this all the way up to seven dollars. We'll have to see. But I do have to get out of here at noon. Noon straight up and down. So at any time if it if it doesn't go up right there, I'll have to get out. I will get out. Dang, with the sour Adelaide. <laughs> well, I get it. Yes, Geronimo. It could go down. We'll see what happens. Talking options like small caps, great opportunities. Yes, great opportunities. There was such a great opportunity at the market open. You guys seen me buy right there. You guys definitely, oh, going down, going down, going down, maybe. Go and down, man. Let's go. $6. Can this get back to $6 right here? I don't I don't want to take too big a loser just in case WKHS has good good volume right here so let's look at that one WKHS 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 is looking okay so I'm in QLGN at 505 we'll see if that one works out I'm gonna sell all the way at six dollars Looks like a lot of these stocks. Look at MYOS. Beautiful little short sell, even though I, I figured it out. Even if you shorted into down there, but who would have known that? Who would have shorted right there? Who would have shorted 290s, 320s? We'll have to see. We're going to see what happens. T Monkey, why, why are you looking up? Oh, I have my other screen up here. I'm looking up, at, I'm looking up at WKHS. I have that up on my upper screen up there. I have three screens over here. I have three, six, nine, 12, 15, 16, 18, 20, or 18, 21, 24, 20, uh, 
27, 20, uh, 30 charts, 30, about 30 charts over there, <laughs> 30 charts. I, I don't think I need all those charts, but oh well, big baller, six screen trader, man, six screen. I'm not a big baller. I, this is screens don't really cost that much. You know what I mean? They just don't really cost too much. I, I know you can get a good deal on Black Friday. I, I got a good deal on Black Friday. And then I, I bought my other screen. I had to pay for my other screen from my son, man. My son charged me for a screen. He wanted his money out of that thing, man. I don't know why. I don't know why I had to pay him so much for that. I think I paid a premium for it even. I paid extra for his extra screen. <laughs> Geronimo. Oh, oh, let me go look at QLGN, man. QLGN. I better get in here. So if this starts getting back over the five actually the 540s up here 550s i think it's going to have a good possibility of going up chief setting bowl yeah chief adding bowl man chief adding bowl i added all the way down i had a good joke for you guys but i cannot remember it what was that joke man i <laughs> i don't know i i cannot remember Oh man, about two bounds. At least, at least I can be proud to be Native American. My my wife, she goes, I can't even be proud to be white anymore around this joint, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, Tree Monkey, please tell Adelie your name is Ger Yes, my name is Geronimo, man. My name is Geronimo. Sun W, trying new high. Did it involve scalp? Yes, I scalped the market. Maybe that has a... No, it wasn't about scalping. It was about something else, man. <laughs> Adelie, yes, my name is Geronimo, but I, I'm going up. My wait, I, When I go to CMEG, I, I should be at CMEG by August 1st at the latest. That's, that's my starting date. That's my planned starting date for uh, CMEG is August 1st. So I can get in there for the month and get my money. Get my money. Thanks, bro. Doug Lehman. Thanks, bro. Storm Cherry said, thanks, bro, Doug. Thanks, bro. Uh, amazing name. Love it. You rock. Yes. Brother Tone. Geronimo, man. Geronimo. That That's my, uh, that's, uh, yeah. Geronimo, Geronimo Joe. Geronimo Joe. <laughs> amazing name. Love it, you rock. You guys, let me look at you. I did have you guys up on a chart. I don't really see much moving right now. Here we go. Look at I, I'm in the money now. I'm in the money. Uh, I'm up I'm up 10 cents on uh, QLGN. Usually I sell way before this, but I'm holding this all the way up to six dollars. Six bucks, ma'am. I call him a uh, send W one fourteen target hit. Ha ha F F <laughs> Storm Trader says. Uh my girlfriend want me to take her somewhere. She hasn't been yet. I, I told her try the kitchen. <laughs> I told her try the kitchen, man. Good trade, Danny Lynch. Good job, man. You called it. I could take profit right now and and make uh, I could make fifteen cents a share if I wanted right now. Was the risk management here on this stock? Yes. If you use this low right here, correct risk management, 491. I got in at 505. That's a one-to-one -one trade right there. And it's right up towards the resistance. So that was good risk management right there. Would I have sold right here at the 491s? No, because I'm, I'm selling at the 480s. At the 480s down there. You guys know what happens from this time on. One of these stocks is going to show its true colors. Is it going to be YRCW? Is it going to be QLGN? Hopefully it's QLGN. Is it going to be MYOS even? Shakes ahead. Three screens. Now it's long. Okay, LMO. You guys. Uh, I made uh, $10,453. Hedgehog, are you in Discord? You should join the Discord, man. There's, I need to get over to Discord. Is there any trades happening, ma'am? I need to get over there. I'm going to be looking. Look at this. Man, Danny Lynch, seriously, you did a good trade right there. That was correct. Good risk management. I could get out for 20 cents now. I could get out for 30 cents now. But I'm holding, holding, and holding. 
I'm holding this. I'm not getting out. I'm riding this all the way with you, Johnny K. We're, we're in till the hubs rub. We're in till the hubs rub. $6 or bust. $6 or bust, man. I'm getting in, holding on. Don't get out. I'm not getting out this time. Monkey, can you uh, show your setup with the webcam? My, uh, I, I can't. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I, my webcam is stuck in between two screens. It, it can't get out. I, I have to like loosen. Uh, my top screen up there has a little. Uh, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> let, let me see maybe I can I don't know if I can or not I'm not sure what's going to come up on here. Hold hold on, man. Let me try this. Have you talked about TTOO? Adelaide, your choice. Let me see if I can get this on there. Let me try this real quick. Oh, man, come on. This thing can go higher than that. I should have took a little profit right there. Now now I'm going to put my stop down by the 491s. If it comes down to 491, I will stop out. Because I want this to make a higher low, a higher low, a higher low, and keep going upright here. So we'll have to see. We will definitely see. I'm going to put this. I'll be right. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just putting this on the starting screen real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Hold on. Ah. Oh. Let me see what's going on. Where is that? Hold on. I I got this on here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Wait a minute. There I am. I'm back. I'm freaking back, man. Let me try this. I'm going to try to put my screen. I'm going to try. I tried to take a picture of this, so I'm going to try to look at this. Let's see if I can figure this out. I, I'm not. Okay. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Anyways, what stock? Is there any stocks really moving right now? Let, oh, Sun W went back up, man. Look at that drop fake. It dropped faked right there into the uh into there. Look at that, man. Uh Sun W started moving up right there, so that one looked good. What is going on? Yeah, Sun W Q L G N. Okay. Uh let me look. Let me look on this. Why am I on this? Okay, connected. Looking for more things. We'll see what happens here. All right. Thank you guys for hanging in there. Choose the call outs that fit into your strategy and make money. LMNL. -L. Look at Sun W. Look at this. This is my classic. See that first pullback, second pullback, third pullback, drop fake, drop freaking fake. Or you could have even got in right here and anticipated the breakout right there. Now you can try this pullback right there if you wanted to at the 110. Remember, it had a lot of uh, resistance and support right there on the... Uh... Uh, on that. I'm trying to get this up here. Anyways, I I'm, I can't walk and talk at the same time, I guess. TTOO is moving. TTOO. 
MYOS, where's that one at? MYOS still coming down. Trying to get this up here. Um, okay. It's it's not the prettiest situation here. Let me look. Boom. Here here is my uh here is my workstation right here. I here is some of my here is what I'm working with. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? It's kind of hard to see right there. But there's my three screens, one, two, three, and you guys can see what I got right there. That's what I look like. I have a Superman back there. Whoa, what happened now? Oh my gosh. That's basically, that's basically what I'm working with right there. That's basically pro level, cool setup. Thanks, man. Thanks. That That's what I got working out right there. But anyways, that's basically what it looks like right there. And that's what I look at every single day of the day. So I have three screens. That top screen on the left over there is the screen I just got. Damn, sick setup. Yeah, so I, I have that stream deck down there. I have all that kind of stuff. Thank you, guys. I, I was trying to show it a little bit cleaner, but I took a little blurry picture. What a setup! Thanks. This is, this is just in the treehouse here. I I have a I I have another I I have my real desk or whatever down at my office or whatever, and then that's what I do most where I do most of my work at. But this is where I trade at every single day right here. I'm gonna do a tour of this treehouse. I'm gonna show you the upstairs. I'll show you the downstairs. All that kind of stuff. Then buy off that Q L G N. Adelaide, you sound like an angry person. Angry person who hasn't figured the market out. <laughs> Adelaide. Anyways, I'm looking for something to move around this joint. Why RCW is moving? I, I kind of, uh, why RCW? Oh, my top screen has different things. I, I have different, uh, like, whoa, look at why RCW high alert. Why RCW is high alert. Look at this. It's going up. It's getting through the resistance now. It's definitely getting through the resistance. Why RCW? Here we go. Here we go. Where it's getting right through the VWAP, the five minute chart. This five minute candle will close pretty quick. Let me, uh, See what's going on right here here we go or should i sell joe schmo stop buying against the trend treehouse trades yeah i i'm more do you guys see there's a spider-man thing up there i i just that was in this treehouse here we go on on here but it's for my voice so my voice doesn't echo i yell really loud sometimes here we go here we go here we go. What am I looking for? I'm basically looking for this to get up over the 350s. If it could get up over the 350s and use that as support, I may try to get in up there. Maybe Adelie is his wife or something. <laughs> I have no idea who Adelie is. I don't know if Adelie's a boy or a girl, whatever, man or a woman. You guys know? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea who Adelie is, man. What platform do you use? Your force? I use uh, uh, Thinkorswim right now, uh, TD Ameritrade. I do use uh, TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. I'm looking for, but on my charts, I have a different, I have two sets of charts. I have one I can pull out, and then I have another one behind the other one. So I can I can actually click through a, diff a couple different charts. So when I'm looking up on the top screen, I can I can pull out some charts and I can pull out the other charts. But just in case I need some on the back, back, back burner, the back, back, back burner. Look at this thing now. Pull back into the 325s. Are you going to take that? I'm not going to take that because it has resistance right there. <clears throat> but if you if you could, you I mean, you could take that uh, trade right there. You definitely could take that trade. Let's go. Nah, should uh, should I keep it or should I sell? No reason for anyone to show proof. Stock hedgehog, don't fall for it, Royal Prince. Whatever you guys want to do, I, I believe what I try to do, I believe what everybody's saying out their mouth until somebody proves me otherwise. 
I, I always want to keep the best outlook on, on life. I want to keep the best outlook. Even if I get fooled once, if I get fooled twice, if I get fooled three times, I'll get fooled four times too. I just don't care. <laughs> I really don't care, man. I will get fooled. Look at this. Uh, why RCW is doing the move. Doing the move. Adelaide, why are you worried what other people making? Yes, Will says. Uh so I had, why is anyone getting hostile past the popcorn? Yes, we're going to pass the popcorn. QLGN is $6 or bust. $6 or bust. I'm looking for this. Look at this trade right here. If this, man, this thing is looking so good. Up over this 350. There's a high a day break right here, that 335. If this busts over 335, I may take a trade up into the 350s. I'm going to keep my stop super tight, though. My stop's going to be super tight at 329. At 329. Here we go. 334. 333. Let's see what happens. 333. 333. Let's go. 333. It does have some support by the 320s. I'm going to try to take it out uh, above. I'm going to try a breakout trade up there. A break, break, breakout trade. Break, break, breakout trade. Oh, looks like it's coming down. I guess you could buy off support again. Whoa, look at that. It came way down right there. Way down. Uh, Doug Lehman, I so agree. Or should I? Can't. I wish I. I wish everyone would just get along, man. <laughs> Me too. Thank you guys. You guys are not going to regret being at this stream. We're going to do some crazy things. We're going to end up on. We're going to end up blowing up this thing. We're going to go. We're going to go out in style on this thing, man. We're going to be making huge money in the stock market. Everybody's going to be trying to knock on the monkey's door. And nobody's getting in. It's just us. We're going to the top. We're going parabolic. We're going to the moon. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. We are doing it. We are definitely doing it. Monkey Army is strong. Yes, Monkey Army is strong. I hope you don't blow up. I, even if I blow up my account, that's not the end of this story. It's not the end of the story. I, I really don't think I'm going to blow up, though. But if I did blow up, that would be a huge uh, bounce to my ego right there. I'd be going, what the heck? How did I blow up? I have this all figured out, I thought, ma'am. I sold my FB 247.5 calls too early. Nightcrawler emotion. Man, why RCW? Sometimes they do this. And you guys seen me buy this dip before, buy this pullback right here. And sometimes it doesn't even give you this much of a move. It just ends up coming right back down. It just comes up a little, comes back down, and then back up. But you guys know it doesn't even give you enough room for profit. Look at QLGN. Hopefully it does the same move this one's doing right here. New name now, Monkey Tencent Army. Yes, well, I always will take my first profit around 10 cents. I just do that. That's just how I trade. But you guys, you guys know I always sell too early also. I have not been buying down at support too often. But uh, recently, because different sorts of trades work in different uh, areas of the market sometimes. But, I mean, different times. Here we go. Here we go. Up over that 235. This thing can get going. What's going to happen? It looks like some people are trying to pick it up at the 320s. 335, 345. Maybe add and sell into the 350s. Maybe add up over that 330. You could possibly take it up over the 330. I, I might take it up because remember what happened on MYOS on me. I got in a little bit late right there. A little, little late. So either I'm going to get in over the 330s or over the 335s right here. Or should I sell? Have a green day, everyone. Yes, have a green day. We're going to make it. We're going to do it. So QLGN, I'm not going to take profit there, but I'm not going to let it go be against me either. I'm up 15 cents a share right now on that stock, but I'm looking for $6. Call outs are to bring light to a ticker and do whatever you want with it. Adelie, complaining isn't working in this room. Yes, that's exactly what Paul DeBald said right there. Call, there's a lot of great call outs in this room. But you have to decide where you enter. You have to decide where you exit. 
and that's the thing. I'm just showing you my journey here and showing that and everybody else in the chat the same situations. TTOO is trying to get over a little bit of resistance there above the 181s. Let me see, send uh, W, send W over 125. Look at this, over 125. Is this going to be a good trade? Sometimes I take this trade right here, right where it's sitting at, but I, I've been taking breakout trades more often. Some break, break, breakout trades. Here we go, over the 125s. 125s, how much does this move a minute? Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. 123, 122, 123. I've been getting in a little bit late, but how, how much room does this have? It's right up by the 200 moving average. That's the... Whoa! Oh my gosh, I bought it. I clicked the button right there. I clicked right there. 121, 122. Okay, 123. Let's go. Let's go. Get up there. 125. <laughs> oh man, I always get faked out by that level two faked me out. The level two freaking faked me out again. The level two faked me out right there. The level two faked me freaking out right there. I, 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 oh man, the level two got me. I messed up right there. Okay. Oh well. I, I hit, I clicked the button. I unclicked the button. I clicked the button. That was not good. Not, not good, man. I, I thought this was going to be a clean breakout right there. These breakouts, look at that fake breakout. Even look at this breakout from 113 to 123. That was a good breakout. Is this a good breakout? Look at that. Fake out breakout every single time. You need to get in down there, I guess. Or is it a fake out breakout? Here we go. 125. 125 right there. 125. Where's the QLGN? Sun W. Man, this one, I hate how this one moves. It just does not move that great. You see that, man? The thing does not move that good. It, it tries to come up and then just stops. It comes up and stops right there. But yeah, Paul DeVault, actually at 75, at 75. Actually, said so call out of us, Sun W was at 90 cent area and for a sub dollar, that's a good move on that. Yeah, 90, I, I thought right here, yeah, at 94 cents, I thought that was good. But back here was even better, right here at this 90 cent break right there. Boom, all the way up. And now it's all the way up here. It's right into that 200 simple moving average. If it gets through that, is it going to keep moving up? Is it going to move up? 123, 122. We'll have to see. It needs to, it needs to hold up here. Or is it going to come back and test the VWAP? And then it will be all over but the crying. All over but the crying. Man, I'm sorry. Nightcrawler motion. How, how do you do that, Monk? Three hours in one minute. Three hours in one minute, man. <laughs> Three, one minute, three hours in one minute. I, I don't know how this time goes so fast each and every day. I love hanging out with you guys. I cannot wait to have a party at my house. I, we're going to do it, man. It's going to be the biggest get together. Who, who really, you guys are coming, man. It's going to be the biggest party. We're inviting everybody out there. Everybody out there. It's passing so fast. I know it passes so fast. Every day it passes and then I start going, well, why didn't I hold on to this trade? I go through my trades after in the evenings when I come back. And in the evenings, I come back and look and I go, oh my gosh, I traded that. I held on to MYOS. I know better. I know right where I should have stopped out at. Why did I add into there? What was I trying to prove? I was trying to prove absolutely nothing. There's nothing to prove in the stock market. You just have to, have to just take your trades, stop out on your trades. Take your trades and stop out, man. 
Sun W, I called heavy resistance at 125 at daily chart. Yes, it has. Ha Robert Lamb, good job, man. You can see that right on the daily. The 200 simple moving average is right by 114. I have a daily support at 118 and 125. Robert Lamb says is heavy, heavy resistance. I thought possibly up over the 127s, it was going to get up to the 150 up there, maybe even up to the 180s up there, but... It really, it just did not go. This this trade right there, that was just a break-even trade, basically. I would have took 2,000 shares, maybe 1,000 shares, and I would have got that. That would have been about $20, $40. But on, on CMake, that probably would have been about $20 commissions also. So what what that this would have been a break-even trade. Not even worth it. Not even worth it right there. One, one year, one, one and a half year chart, two year chart. Let me look at this two year, two year, boom. Let's blow this out a little bit, two year. Where is that? 124, 125, yep, 133. Yep, right there, right, right there. I, sh I This line should actually be moved up a little bit. Uh, I kind of have this one messed up, messed up, but I, I kind of figure them out a little. There goes YRCW, YRCW. Let's get back over there, up over that 335. Here we go, here it goes, ma'am. Here we go. What is happening? YRCW. Look at that. Curled right back around right there. Hopefully, sometimes I take this trade that's happening right here. Look, look at this. It's going to rest a little bit. It will rest. And then as it busts through the 330s, I try to take that breakout up into the 350s right there. Or should I go? So how many round trips did you have today, Monk, in total profit? I, I will be figuring that out later. I figured this out a little bit different because now I'm I'm going off a different uh, setup. I'm only spending $220 into each trade. So it's not translating into my CMEG. If I was going to translate it into CMEG, I would have to do, or I could translate this into CMEG, but I would have to divide it by four. Divide it by four. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 332, 332, here we go, 333, 333, 334, get up there, 333, bum, come on, get going, get going, get going. Three thirty four, three thirty five. Come on, get going, get going up there, get going. Three thirty one. Look at that little breakout again. I it should have went all the way up to three fifties right there. These things are just garbage, garbage, garbage. Get up to three fifties, man. You can make it. You can make it. Three twenty four. Three twenty four. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. I guess it was so stretched out right here too, right there. So it was so stretched out. Is it going to make it or is it not? Is it going to make it or is it not? Here we go. Come on, push on through. 335, 336. Is it going to make it this time or is it not going to make it? 332. Forty two. Come on, man. We'll we'll see what happens. I'm giving it a little time right here. A little time.
We'll see. We'll see what happens right here. Man, that, that thing, that little, I thought it was going to break out right through the 330s, go right up to 340s and be just fine right there. Look at that. Look at these little breakouts. There's a breakout right there that actually worked. These breakouts just are not working, man. 324, 323, 332. Three thirty two. Look at QLGN going up, man. QLGN is going up. Twenty five. Twenty five. Twenty four. I'll give this a little room, I guess. It's double bottoming right here at 321, 321, 320, 321. Let's go, let, let's go QLGN right off support right there. We'll have to see. QLGN is up by 550s. Let's go, man. QLGN, good job, guys, on QLGN. QLGN is going, 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 going. Let's go, let's go, let's go. QLGN is at 548 right now. I'm getting out some more of my shares for minus two cents there. So I took I, I took some profit, but I just want to make sure that I reduce my risk because this trade is not working out how I thought it was going to work out. But it is bouncing off of the support there. Let's see if it makes it. We'll see if it can make it. 329, 329. So I had basically about a 10 cent risk. It went down 10 cents, so it went right down to my stop. That's why sometimes I don't like to put a hard stop. But one thing I'm check marking in my notes, if I don't have a hard stop that I'm going to, here we go. I, I'm, I'm going to get out a couple more shares right there just to be safe. This is where I start piecing out too early too. It's coming back up. Get going, get going, get going. Let's go, let's go. S S oh, Sun W broke out. Let's go look at it. I got to go look at that. <clears throat> Look at that man curled around just like just like this one why RCW is doing the exact same move today The sooner you can pick up on the moves the better off you're gonna be look what there it goes There there goes why RCW Why RCW right up to my profit target 3141 come on get up there 39 boom 39, 38, 38. Okay, come on, get up to the 350s. The 350s is my profit target. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Get going, get going, get going. 342, 350, 350, 355. Come on, get up there. Amazon, Stock Hedgehog. Hey, man, you got Amazon Call Straight Ball and says, yes, do you have Amazon Calls? Look at that. Look, look at Send W is at 119 right now, 118. So hopefully it can hold this support right here. Here's a little pullback over this double top right there, the 334s. But anyways, okay, let me just, just calm calm down a little bit. It finally went up. It did come down and almost stopped me out. So it was a one-to-one -one risk to reward, but I kind of pieced out right there. 339, 340s. Let's go, man. Sun W has the breakout here for the W pattern. The breakout for the W pattern. Boom, boom, boom. The W, the triple bottom breakout. The triple bottom breakout is what I call that one. The triple bottom breakout. The W pattern. 
or is it it or is it the head and shoulders or is it the head and shoulders i i gotta go look at that send w in a minute send w 122 here this goes i'm going to get out the rest of my shares up here by the 350s the 350s is going to be my next uh profit target here we go this is what I was kind of looking for MYOS to do a little bit, but the VWAP was closer to this one, so it wasn't so stretched out. There you go. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Let's go look. I'm going to get back over to Sun W in a minute. Let's go. Let's see what happens here. Uh, and on profit targets, sometimes it's better to get your profit target out ahead of time. Even if you're trying to judge how a stock moves up and down, sometimes they'll just come right down. Look at that. And they won't come back up very far. It will just come right on down right there. Let's see if it goes up. 342. Is it better when it's closer to the VWAP? It all depends on your strategies. Whatever the, your strategies are, I, I don't really judge a lot of my trades right off of the VWAP, but I'm starting to notice the VWAP is very close to a lot of these. Except on my drop, fake, and pop, boom, if the VWAP can correlate with the VWAP sometimes, that's a good... Uh, a uh, good uh good correlation the more things you can line up in a trade the better off you're gonna be like the first five minute candle that's a very good one the vwap the volume weighted, weighted average price that's pretty good if it can stay above that and stuff like that actually i'm just gonna let this go up a little bit more if it comes down to the 332s i'll stop out on this one 332s yeah 332 let's go it looks like it may make its next leg up higher you could try a breakout for the 350 break a breakout for the 350 break right here 342 let's see this one doesn't really move that far it's so it's so janky and so tight you have to be a little bit more patient in a trade like this i i got in a little high right there i should have waited for that pullback right there though but let's go is it better? Yeah, Malvarez, whatever. You talk to your emotional now, the devil voice. Yeah, the devil voice is always in my head going, what the heck is happening, man? Oh, I got to get out of here, man. I have to get out of here. But now, boom. I'm out of that trade. I have to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, Johnny K. I can't hold with you through this. I, I was going to. <clears throat> I got to get out of here, man. I have to get out of here for the day. So I ended up losing uh, 62. I ended up losing $5 today. $4 and about 80 cents today. 480 red on the day. But that's good. I, I did take some bad trades. The breakout trading today uh, on key level breaks. Some of them were working. Some of them wasn't. Have a great day, everyone. Peace. It's noon. All right. I'll see you later. Have a great day. Danny Lynch, QLG, and yeah, I sold right there. I have to get out of here. Uh, this, this account, I promised myself I'm only going to stick to day trades. I'm not going to. I could have just put a stop for later on in the afternoon, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back and trade. I know I can trade off my phone, but I, I'm just not doing that. I want to only stick to day trading the stock market. Peace, Monk. Uh, Richard, Prophet, thank you guys for being here. Good day. Oh, yep. Yo, Monkey, Ron, Rhea, 543. Yes, you'll make that money back, TM. I'm green on the week so far. This is my first red day. I was green. I did take a couple good trades, but then I turned my green day red, and I was fighting back to green, but I never did make it today. All right, later. SRNE, Robert Lamb saying SRNE is moving. All right, everyone, have a great day. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys in the morning. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. YRCW uh, is looking good to me for the 350 break. YRCW, if you do trade that, it does look like it could bust above this 344 and bust over the 350s. Maybe you take that. The breakout trades have not been working out that good. Let, let me just go look at Sun W real quick. Look at those breakouts classic little fake out breakouts it's been better to buy off support today definitely off of support 
They always switch it up so fast. SRNE, let me go look at that real quick and then I'm getting out of here. SRNE, SRNE, boom, boom, boom. SRNE, look at this thing. Oh man. Okay, SRNE. Let's uh, let's go, man. Look at this. It's going up, up, and up. 630, 640, 630, 640. Man, there was a good entry right there. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Stay green. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, Robert Lamb just called this out. Why do I not see this on my chart up here? SRNE. SRNE. I, I may take a trade on this in just a second. I, I, I have a couple more minutes. I'll get out of here in a couple minutes. I should have stayed in my trade on a QLGN actually. One minute high breaks are working. One minute high breaks, micro pullbacks. Where would you look for a pullback? Basically, I don't know. Uh, let's see, 670, 680s, 670s. Man, that's such a monster breakout right there. Look at that thing, just powering up straight on up to the minute. News two minutes ago, Paul DeBald says, news two minutes ago. Here we go, last FOMO of the day. Yes, I could turn my, let me go with 50 shares. Let me go with 50 shares, ma'am. Let's do this. Stand up, stand up, monkey army. I'm going to salute. I'm going into battle. I'm going into battle. I'm going into battle, man. I'm going into battle. Oh, Rima drawing, 680s, 680s. Okay, I'm going into battle. Uh, wish me luck. I'm I'm going for the fight. I'm going in. I'm going in. Where am I going in? Not yet. Not yet. Short sellers starting to add to a position right now. So 660, 650, 660. Hi, FOMO. Should I stay or should I do it? I, I'm looking for the 660s. The 660s, I'm looking for it. 660s it's either oh maybe a push over the 688s oh i gotta go i i have to go i'm sorry guys i'll